Uh, welcome everyone, and thank you to the annual, and I can say that because this is the second time I'm doing it. This is the annual Yulmus. Uh, with me today, we have the uh, always exciting Troy, and more importantly, uh, Loic, who is essentially this, this is your brainchild. Did, was it? Did yeah, you, what, like shit. it was, well. Damn. This is your fault. Yeah, so. It's all your fault. So we should mention that me, uh, Loic, and Sean, who couldn't make it today, uh, there are different ideas about why floating around on the internet today. Some people claim that he might have died. That is not the case. No, he just, he as, was responsible. As far as we know. Yeah. Uh, we did it uh, we did it last year and it it got a tiny bit out of hand in that yeah i think th the story was sean anders and i shared our common love for yulemust and we discussed the fact that being a swede an australian naturalized as swede and a frenchman recently arrived in sweden we were the perfect tasting group to mm -hmm. define what the best yulemust would be because we had the swedish route we had also like some sort of like objectivity coming from being outsider and so on. And so we decided to do that. It happened in the cafeteria of yep. our office last year. It was a very small thing. And and yeah, this year we went a bit bigger, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah a little bit. It, it got a bit out of hand. Uh, we should also mention that since Sean couldn't make it, I was like, well, who's the, who's the best Sean replacement? And I don't think you are the best Sean replacement because Ouch. you are not as Swedish Ouch. as he is. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, you're very much more Texan. Yeah, that's true. But that's very true. It, uh, I thought it would be interesting to have another palette. Yeah. True. Yes. For fair. for testing your yeah. List. Yeah, and I think it's interesting to get the opinion of someone who has recently arrived because you've been in Sweden for like six months. Six, six seven months. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's a, it's still a new discovery. It's your first Swedish yeah. Christmas. That's actually. true. Mm -hmm. that is so, true. so, so it's good to have this sort of like innocent palate that hasn't tasted yeah. all the complexity yeah. of Yulmus yet. Well, yeah. We should also mention, by the way, that we're going to take this way more serious than you think we are. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> is, uh, this is going to be ridiculously stupid, but we're also going to take it seriously. Uh, so, before we start, and um, before I explain how everything's going to work. Uh, I want to get some just initial reactions. Uh, Loic, I know that you're uh, a f general fan of Yulmust. Yes, I think we could say that I'm a Yulmust enthusiast, mm -hmm. I guess. And uh, Troy, what's your experience with Yulmust so far? Well, so I've tried five or six, six, six now different Yulmusts. Definitely enjoy, mm -hmm. definitely about it, ready to experience more. My, I've, I've come from the, I've, uh, I came into this last year being very pro a specific uh, brand of Yulmust. Yeah. Uh, didn't win last year. It, it came close, but it didn't win. It, it, it was the highest rated one in mustiness. It was. Mm. Uh, we'll go over the metrics uh, shortly. Uh, but for those that don't know what Yulmust is, Yulmust, if it hasn't been clear, is a traditional Swedish holiday drink that we drink around Yul or Christmas. Uh, we also yeah. drink it around Easter, and then we call it Poskmust. So it essentially translates into Christmas, must, uh, and it's almost a hundred years old like it got it the the background is a bit depending on how you count but a version of Yulmus, with my fingers cool because then you're going to appreciate this mm. uh, a version of Yulmus was kind of launched in 1922 uh, as an alternative to the christmas beer mm. uh, for those of us that didn't want to drink alcohol yeah, yes, Sweden has a big thing of discouraging people to drink alcohol. That has never really worked, but it's still like mm, quite yeah. big in the uh, country. It's, it's also one of those cases where like, I drink a lot of Yulmust. I don't drink a lot of Yulmust specifically on Christmas Eve, right. on the 24th, when we, as Swedes, celebrate yeah. uh, Christmas. So we, we must enjoy this? We must enjoy this. That's okay. a good joke. It's never been done before. Never. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, but before we get to the first... I think we need to go over the metrics that we're going to rate all of these on. And for absolutely. that, we have Loic, because yeah. you have a Google Sheet. Yeah, I, no, absolutely. We, uh, so we have defined those metrics uh, last year. Uh, they have remained the same. I've actually shared the Google Sheet earlier in the chat. I can share it again. So that way you can follow up the, the progress of our tasting and rating there. Uh, so we taste the Yulmust, uh, and we have 19 Yulmust today to yep. try. So yep. this is going to last much longer than you thought. Uh, so we're, we're going to taste it uh, according to four criteria. Mm -hmm. We have both like uh, quite common Yulmust, uh, and, and we're going to start with, I would say, the 
general king of Ulmust in Sweden, the most common yeah, one? Yeah, the, the pleb. yeah, the pleb. But Ulmus. we have also this year extended with a, a lot of Ulmus that are actually produced by beer microbreweries. Mm -hmm. And it's a big thing like for microbrewery in Sweden to make their own artisanal, like yep. handcrafted Ulmus. So we have quite a couple of interesting ones this year compared to last year. We have also had a couple of criteria uh, this year uh, on like selecting the panel. We're not doing um, soccer free uh, nope. Ulmus uh, because we have tried last year and they always end up like being under in terms of rating. We're also, except for the first one, we're not going to go plastic bottles. We're only going with Yulmus that are uh, served in glass bottle. Because yep. same thing, we have seen last year that it seemed to be like the best Yulmus container. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was sort of the filtering. We end up with those 19 that we're going to taste uh, around four criteria. Uh, the first criteria is taste, which is simply like, does it taste good? Yep. Is it pleasant to taste? Does it have interesting flavors? Do you like it? Uh, the second criteria is... Christmasness. Uh, Christmasness is defined by does this Yulmus makes you feel like it is Christmas? Yeah. Um, does it have like maybe it's in the taste, maybe it's in the feel, maybe it's how in how it look, but it must like feels like it's a proper Christmas drink. It yeah. must feel like Christmas. Got it. One of the uh, key element of this criteria is could it be a post must? Yes. If it could, probably not yeah, that the yeah, excellent like, of mm -hmm. Christmasness. Then we have mustiness. Mustiness is characterized by how far the Yulmus go into that typical taste of must that comes with the Yulmus. It's sort of a fermented drink. It's a bit malty. Yeah, like it, are there any hints of like cinnamon or orange or anything like that? Yeah, and, and, and it needs to have this sort of robust like uh, taste that yeah. is not only sugary. And that's really what the mustiness is. And then we have glass fear uh, because that is your high rated Yulmus, you want to serve it on your Christmas table, you want it to look good, you want yep. it to have a legs. nice color of bubbles, a nice legs. texture, exactly, yep. some legs. Like, usually, that was one of the problems we had with um, Soccer Free Mousse, they fell flat yeah. immediately. Yeah, I mean, a, a Yulmus needs to have a decent head when you pour it, and that's why we do have a pouring camera uh, this year. Uh, Lowe's going to be in charge of pouring, so we are going to judge partly on that, but that's part of the glass fail. Yeah, exactly. We might have different uh, IDs on the rating, uh, so we, but we will still fix one common rating for yeah. all of us. Right. And like it's going to be from 1 to 10? Uh, 1 to 5. 1 to 5. 1 to 5. One to five. Uh, and, and we don't do half points. No. So we still need to reach a decision. Sometimes Anders is going to feel 4, I'm going to yeah. feel 3, we're going to have to discuss this. Yeah, and then the Texan is going to come and ruin it. Yeah, the, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. That's I, what I'm, I'm here for. No, but I'm excited I am the to Russian get your judge. perspective. Mm -hmm. All right, I am the Russian judge for today. So, oh, no, yeah. Very scared. That is the Yulmus of 2020, and I guess... Uh, I, I, be... I, think we can, I think we can start. We have some other topics that I do want to talk about, but like you said, we have 19 to go through. So how about we pour uh, the first uh, Yulmus? Very well. So when we're pouring, we're going to go into uh, pouring mode. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, I I'm generally going to scream pouring time uh, because yeah. we want to shut our mic so that you can appreciate uh, the pouring to its uh, entirety. Yep. Uh, so it is pouring time. Oh, maybe I should introduce it first. Otherwise yeah. well, it doesn't work. Well, I mean, we are in pouring camera, so, All right, so we should just be quiet perfect. and enjoy the pour. So our first Yulmus is, I would say, the reference of Yulmus in Sweden, uh, Apothecarnas Yulmus, which most Swedes will in always rate as their favorite one. Uh, the reason being, it's the most common one. It's the yeah. one they have drank as, uh, as children. It's a basic. So it felt like appropriate to start with it. All right, so I mean, it's it smell it smells like apotecan as you must. Yeah, I mean, it it is hard to rate, right? It is so much of a classic, and it's still for everyone sort of their everyday you must. Uh, glass beer is still pretty nice. Um, there's like there's almost all of my most of my bubbles are gone at this point. Yes. Yeah. It's also got very small bubbles disappears very quickly. Yeah. 
I think for me, my, my main problem with Apothecanes is that it lacks the mustiness I like to find in a Yulmust. Mm. Yeah. Like, Glass Fear for me is average. We're like two or three, nothing, mm -hmm. nothing fancy, yeah. it's not dramatic either. Um, when it comes to uh, the taste, it's pretty good, it's decent. Mm -hmm. It's a three over four for me, like, it's quite okay. Yeah, I, I feel like. The, uh, the problem the Apotheacanus uh, most tends to run into, especially this one, is that since you are buying them in generally like in in cans or in one and a half liter mm. bottles, like the taste doesn't linger and I mm. want my must to be musty. Yeah, exactly. It, mm. it falls flat pretty quickly. It does. It Christmasness does. is, I would say, pretty high. It's pretty high. Yeah. It's pretty uh, high. First, because, I mean, it's a reference. Like when you see it, like it is Christmas. It is also like a clear sign that Christmas is coming when Apotheconess show up in the stores in Sweden. And it's always the first one to show up. And small bubble, but a bit of the fizziness. Mm -hmm. And that for me, like goes into Christmasness, the sort of like mm -hmm. festive mm -hmm, yeah. little fizziness, like because you have some flatter mousse and also some with bigger bubbles, but uh, that goes like probably for a so four in. Uh, yeah, Christmas. so let's let's go through the uh, let's go through the metrics here. Taste. I, I'm gonna be hard, and I'm I'm on two here. Oh yeah, I was gonna say three. I I, I would go on two as well. Like I want to give us like some. Progress. I want to give us some range. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with two then. Let's go with two. It's a basic, most people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry because this is a point where half of the Swedes yep. have left the stream yep. Yep. in anger and raging that we have like crucified Apocatechanes. But we that's, have to be that said, here. if you are watching outside of Sweden and you wanted to import Hudmost, Apotekanes is a fine choice. It is. Yeah, and I'd say it's a good everyday must, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Christmas test for me is pretty high. Like I, I can easily go for a four. Uh, I'm for fine. A I'm fine with a four here. Yeah, four. Yeah. Because we should also mention that part of the Christmasness, at least for me, is actually looking at the bottle itself. Brand recognition. Yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Now brand recognition is the thing. Like mm -hmm. it's still the king of must, right? Yeah. Like despite if it's the best or not. And and we're gonna get back to apothecaries because they do have a superior product. Yeah. Yes, they do. Yeah. Um, Mustiness is for me like no. Apotheconess mousse full no. it's a full flat. We're in it's a it's a it's a soda one. that's must yeah. flavored. One. Yeah, it's a I'm one. Fine. Yeah. And glass fear, probably a two or three. I was actually surprised to see it like with a bit better well, the, glass the, the, than like, I remember. You, you have a tiny bit left in yours, and I don't think it should look like that like three minutes yeah. after a pour. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah, no, it is. Are we on flat. a two? I'm on a two. two. Very well. So yeah, that was a. Uh, I put a Kness Yulmust. Oh, I actually put it yeah. on the wrong line. Yeah. Oh, no. Already right. goofed. No, because, oh, oh no, I, I am ruining this. You've yeah, like uh, Oscar uh, points out that, like, Apothecanus is kind of the benchmark here. We're expecting most yeah. of the musts to go uh, to go higher than yeah. this. Not because, you know, because we also want we uh, we want some, uh, some range. No, I, absolutely. And I would say, like, it is... Obviously, mm. the benchmarks. That's why we start with it. I also want to point out that we are specifically in Stockholm. That means there are some local breweries that we do not have available that would might be considered like the standard one. Like mm. for example, when I go home to my parents, the standard one is yeah. probably Vasa Bryggeriets yeah. uh, Julmus Special, which yeah. is kind of similar, honestly. But do we want to go to the next one? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, absolutely. You want so to do the intro first? We are. Yeah, I can do the intro. We are then going for Apotekanest Bryggemust. Uh, which is actually uh, not exactly a Yulmust. Uh, I think we can switch the, the camera on it, but it's actually a mix of Yulmust and non-alcoholic Yule Earl, so like Christmas beer. Mm. Um, I think it's a new product this year. Hmm. I don't think I have seen it before. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I, I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm, I'm intrigued and slightly alarmed by well, it. Let's see. All right, we ready? So, pouring time. Immediately, we see the difference in glass fill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you don't you don't necessarily like you don't get a head from like yeah. a beer normally on a Yulmus, but I do want this ring of bubbles. Yeah, no, but le 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 like look at it on the oh yeah on the pouring mm -hmm. camera. Like these thick bubbles, I mean, they dissipate, but you keep the ring of bubble around the glass. It is sort of like what you want. 
the 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 smell of this is very strange though. It's a it's a lot closer to uh, Svagdrika. Yeah, but I think it's a it's a mold from the yeah. beer that we smell. Hmm. Also, I just said Svagdrika to a Texan and a French person, like they don't know what that is. Oh god, it's very much in the beer. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Malty. Yeah, I, I was expecting the Unimus to take more over, but it's very yeah, much no. on the non-alcoholic beer side. That's not oh, bad, the, no. like, yeah, the, the aftertaste is mm -hmm. very beery. Yeah. yeah, 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 absolutely. I mean, here, here's the thing, though, mm. because I've spent most of this year uh, drinking, like, artificially sweetened sodas, like Coke Zero, mm. or uh, because I'm Swedish, Tuchadero Zero. Uh, so whenever I drink uh, a, a properly sugary soda, I get like I taste the sugar a lot. This is not as sweet, which no, I no. kind of like, but it's also falling kind of flat on the most part. Yeah, no, totally. Uh, I think the taste is pretty interesting the flavor, to me. Flavor is solid, but flavor is solid. Um, mustiness is definitely not mm -hmm, there. No. Like it's, it's not enough Yulmus to mm -hmm. like take over the sort of beery like multi taste. Yeah. Also, I wouldn't consider this like a Christmassy beverage. I honestly. so here's the thing. I, I understand what you're saying, but from uh, it's it's close to it would be close to su similar Christmas beer flavors to me, like that I would find on a Swedish right. like a yeah. Christmas dinner. Right. Well, but yeah. Well, I mean, and that's the thing is like it it's very festive, it's very flavorful, but like it doesn't make me think Christmas, right? And that's that's like I could drink this any time of the year and be like, "Oh, this is a delightful non-alcoholic uh, yeah, festive it, beer." Exactly. And, yeah. and and I think taste is nice. I want to get back to the glass feel because mm -hmm. I don't know if we can get it back on the camera again, but like and I think the the sort of beer side helps yeah. here. But look at this. I've, I've drank it already, it's been a couple of minutes, still, we have those bubbles, we have this night look in the glass, yeah. so we're pretty high there. Then yeah, yeah Christmasness and mustiness, yeah. definitely for flat. Uh, Maggie Stroer points out in Twitch chat here that you must with beer is how my parents always drank it. So there's like, this oh. is a thing that's apparently hap happened before. I've hmm. never experienced it, because oh. in, 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 in my house, it was very much, you started out with you must, and then when you got old enough, you probably swapped over to you must and snaps, and then you're like, fuck it, it's just, a beer and snaps now yeah. because I've mm. been drunk a few times. I'm not going to get too drunk. No, but before. interesting to know that traditionally the mixing of the mm. two like is a thing, right? I mean, it works. It just yeah. doesn't work as a you yeah. must to me. Right? Yeah, exactly. I agree. Mm. So taste. I mean, it's a three over three? four. I find it interesting. Three? Not. I, I think it's. A, I think it's a three because I was. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Christmasness. It falls. I mean, I, I, I would knowing the folklore behind yeah. it, I, I could give it a two. I can, I can. Here's the thing: I, if if I was if I was from a house where we did this, where we mix beer with Yulmust, I would rate this a lot higher. I'm not, so for mm. me, this is a two. Yeah, I'm saying two. No. Mustiness falls very flat. Two. I think. Yeah. I'd say two on mustiness for mm -hmm. me personally. For me. Yeah, no, mm -hmm. I get it. But when we're gonna get to the real musty must? Well, then let's go. Yeah. I'm yeah. ready. I'm, I'm here for uh, it. Glassphere, I think we're at a four. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. It's, Excellent. Go, it's yeah. good yeah. glass feel. Like, yeah. Very good. It's still, it's still got a good All right. Yeah. So we're gonna switch to uh, something that requires a bit of an introduction. Yes. Uh, and it might also, while you do that, uh, we're, I'm gonna um, advise Troy to maybe take a palate cleanser. Let's do one of these. Yeah. Uh, you probably want to do that thing first because I need to explain what the oh. horrific things these yeah, are. Just Classic pepper cracker. Just pepper cracker. But uh, so we are now moving and if we can get on the pouring camera, I'm going to introduce you to uh, last year winner. Yes. Uh, of or uh, Yulmust um, of uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. um, so this is um, Apotecanus Vintovus. Yep. Um, which is, and I researched this, like Apotecanus was, until a couple of years ago, they were doing a sort of yearly special Yulmust, a bit like they do for Glug, like mm. uh, in Sweden. And so they had this ongoing thing where it was a Yulmust of the year and so on, and people tried it. And they switched, I think, two or three years ago to doing uh, Vinter, the Vintermust, which is technically not called Yulmust, but is pretty much the same thing. Yeah. And it's sort of like higher quality. And here we have to bottle because we have kept from last year yep. a bottle of the 2019. I took a little note on it. Um, 
which is like literally the Yulmuz that won last year. And we have also the 2020. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to see like first like how does it hold up? And I would say like, be ready for this. We're getting into high Yulmuz territories. Yeah. Um, and we're going to see if we see a difference between the yeah. two. And also we, sh we should point out that this is a thing. Uh, I have several friends and acquaintances outside of Loic and Sean, yeah. who <laughs> also saved one, that actually, uh, you know, keeps their Yulmus around for, for a year to let the flavors, uh, you know, intermingle, as it were. Settle. Yeah, exactly, we exactly, exactly. So let's go on. So the 2020, I offer that mm -hmm. we start with the one from this yeah. year. Uh, and let's go on the porn camera. Looks very nice, I must say. Uh, all right. So. And uh, for those keeping track at home and wondering, wow, you you drink a lot of Yulmus, but you also there's a lot of Yulmus left in the bottle. And we're like, yes, we know that, but of course we we have uh, Mada and Alex in the control room, and even though they've not uh, admitted to it. I'm pretty sure we can force them to just drink all of it that's left. Yeah, see, mother's mother is uh, yeah. uh, nodding yes, I mean, and Alex is giving two thumbs up. We and can also say, like, we are uh, abusing the studio of our employer today. Yes. Uh, and I didn't really ask for permission because I think I am the one that can give permission. Yeah, so I sort of yeah. give yeah. myself yeah. the permission of using our studio. Uh, but it means we have also, like, uh, some people who, despite the pandemic, are still yeah. working in the office and... Uh, we will make uh, Yulmus at their disposal. I'll be honest. I remember this being better. Yeah, a bit. Well, I've got good news. You can try last year's batch to see <laughs> if it was better. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still very strong. Like, don't it's don't, nice. don't, don't get me wrong. Like, it I, is very nice. The, the thing that really uh, pulls uh, Apotek and Zbintemus together as well is the spectacle of having a larger bottle with a cork. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm a bit. It falls a bit flat. Um, it's still like a higher mustiness that uh, mm -hmm. standard Apotek mm -hmm. like for sure. The taste, like especially the first taste you get, but there's a bit of an hint of port and so on. Like, it's very refined and very pleasing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the, the oaky PD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you can feel the spice and so on. Like, it is much more developed than the pure, like, this is a sugar soda that yeah, you get yeah. from standard apothecaries, right? This is definitely more into the Christmassy category for me. Mm. Way higher in the Christmassy category. Yeah, I agree. Because you get those tastes of, like, Christmas spices yeah. and sort of the round thing. Like, no, no, it's, uh, it definitely uh, goes uh, pretty high on uh, Christmasness mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Do we quickly want to go through the metrics here and then jump into the uh, the uh, the one from last year? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do the metrics quickly. So where would we go on taste? For three. me, we're at the three or four. Three. Yeah, I'm 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 honestly three. I thought I'd be yeah, at a four. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it, it started as a four, but it felt much more flat in taste mm -hmm. uh, yeah. after the initial. And I'm, first I'm wondering if it's if it's suffering from the fact that it was so good last year. Mm. So mean, the, our expectations are higher. It, it, it's a risk. Uh, Christmas nest. Four. I think we're at a solid yeah. four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay I with mean, that. Yeah. Uh, mustiness is, is higher than the one we had before. I think we're at a two or, or a three. You get uh, this aftertaste yeah. that stays I'm, on the back I'm, of your palate. I am okay with like I'm two fine. Or three is fine though. I'm fine yeah. putting it at three. I think it's uh, I think it's a solid mustiness. And glass feel once again pretty solid. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the strong points yeah. that uh, put it above the other last year. We keep the bubble. Very nice color as well. Um, so I would put it at a four in glass. I mean, it's it's close. So far, it's the best we've had. So like, yeah. it, it, it's going to be hard to beat that. But yeah, it's definitely yeah. a four. It might even be a five, depending on what we see. So let me just get a quick palate cleanser yep. uh, to ensure we can do a proper comparison. Mm -hmm. I'll rinse my glass out yep. so and I can get it. An and in the meantime, I can actually explain mm. what what this thing is. So absolutely, we have other uh, traditional like. Christmas treats since we're outside of drinks. One of them is a type of flavored like marshmallow called Yulesgum, which is eventually essentially it's strawberry flavored marshmallows yeah. 
in the shape of, uh, well, uh, Santa. Uh, well, you want to hang, hang on it for the, the camera? Yeah. yeah, let's put it on glass camera. Uh, for some reason, uh, I found a recipe. Oh, the, the glare is just yeah. beautiful on that. I love yeah. it. Yeah. I've, I found a recipe on the internet uh, that puts that in a fudge. So this is this is Yuleskum oh no. fudge, and it's uh, it's it definitely tastes the way it's supposed to, and it's one of the worst things I've ever created. It <laughs> so it tastes like or it smells like it it smells like like the potpourri you find in like thrift stores that's been sitting there for too long. Yeah, that's the like, Yuleskum yeah. experience. Yeah, it is it is an experience in the cell. Is this like candy yeah. corn where they only made one batch one year? Yeah. Let's go on a porn camera for yeah. the 2019 champion, um, mm -hmm. Apotheconus Vintemus 2019. Very nice uh, glass feel. Like you could fear that after a yeah. year spent in my uh, cave, it uh, it would have lost some uh, of its uh, bubbles. But it's actually not the case. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. Very thick bubbles. This one, I feel like this one's darker than the this year's edition, right? Is it? Did you just trick me into eating a Christmas circus peanut? <laughs> I don't know what a circus peanut is. God, oh, it's this terrible candy. It looks like a a peanut, but it, it's just what it tastes like. It tastes like an American circus peanut. Well, but for Christmas. you have the fudge to look forward to. <laughs> All right. Oh, holy shit! The okay. Mmm. Yeah, Cedar points out that there is a moment in every Swedish kid's upbringing where they're presented what happens if you put a skum tomte or yuleskum, which that is, in a microwave. Yeah, they expand. Yeah, massively. I, yeah, I had I had a discussion with a friend. The uh, art circus yes, peanuts. Yesterday, it was like. It's really tasty once they cool down and dry out of it. And I was like, okay. It's like Peeps. You ever uh, seen Peeps mm -hmm. in the U.S.? You put a pack of Peeps in the microwave and you microwave all of them. This one's much better. Yeah. Yeah, what the this heck? Is much yeah. better. So, t two, two theories there. Either Apotheconis changed something and mm -hmm. go back. Like, I want to say that for the name of all Yulmus enthusiasts go back to the 2019's recipe, or because, I mean, it's a living product, right? It yeah. is with a uh, cork uh, and like it, it has like some evolution, so it might have gotten better with age, or the other bottle is maybe I'm, not like, a very great they batch. Must, they must have changed something, because this, this is a superior product in every way. Yeah, it really is. The, the, it is the same label. Hmm. But uh, maybe it's the aging. Well, in any case, make sure like you put the right cork back in the right bottle now, <laughs> to not ruin one or the other. It, it's a proper cork; you can't put it back on. It's like champagne; once it <laughs> pops, you have to drink it. Well, um, time to chug an entire bottle of Yule Moose. Yeah. Let's go. No, Matty, you're in charge. You've got to drink all of the Yule Moose, all of it. Just <laughs> chug it all. Um, so, so to talk a bit more in detail about the taste, uh, a bit more acidity in this one yep. than in the 2020. I feel like the bubbles are smaller in this. It is, but they're more compact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which which makes sense, like being aged a bit, like yep. that it might have lost a bit. Mustiness is uh, is fairly yeah. like it's higher. Yeah, we're probably at a four. Um, mm -hmm. Taste is uh, quite interesting. I would say maybe a bit lower on Christmasness for me. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I definitely like, agree. Because it has either lost or it has less of the spices mm -hmm. that the yeah. other one has. Much more acidity and, and much more aftertaste, but a bit less of the initial yeah. like spice. Yeah. Taste? I'd probably still go with a three. V very nice uh, bouquet, though. Yeah. yeah. I, w I would pump up the taste at four, to be honest. Especially with the, with the bouquet and What with did we put the previous one on? Three. three. I'm okay with going four, then. Yeah. I told you, Russian judge. It's no, yeah. I, I like it uh, better than the previous one. Yeah, the, it's, mu it's much better yeah. than the previous one. It is, one. it is. Uh, Christmasness. Three. It goes down a bit. Yeah, Three. it goes down a bit. Mustiness, however, higher. Four, I'd say four. Definitely yeah, a four. That one was way better. I see what you're talking about, by yeah. the way. And I would go at four as well for the glass fill. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, it was very strong. 
So it, it puts it slightly higher above the previous one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy that we, I feel like we weren't mm. wrong last year because I was really worried on the previous one. But it's interesting that there's that much difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm really, so, so now I kind of want to buy six bottles of it and try all of them to see if there do is it. like a different yeah. per batch and so on. But Actually, um, what you should do is contact the, the brewery yeah. and be like, hey, do you have like legacy bottles that I can buy? <laughs> Well, See I how mean, far back you next, can get. Next year, we're getting a apotheca and a sponsorship. Like, it's, I mean, it's happening. I mean, yeah. Welcome to the Yule Moves All right. sponsored by Apotheca We're going to go with... Um, Ooh. Uh, I'm looking forward to Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So, this is... Um, Show the camera. Dufens, uh, Dufens Crooks? Dufens du Crooks? Crook. Dufens Crooks. Um, and it's uh, their Henber. Uh, flavored juniors, yeah, which is Sloanberry. Yeah. Mm. Sadly, uh, because we uh, we, US, we messed up so. a bit with the order, uh, we don't have the standard uh, different crooks. No. Um, this year, most interestingly, is sold that System Boraget, which is a state uh, alcohol shops in Sweden. Yeah. Alcohol is only sold in those shops, and this is like I would say with. Uh, the Yulmus from Nigoda that we're going to yep. uh, talk about a bit later. It is one of their standard offering. Uh, quite fancy brand. I've never tried it myself, so i uh, very excited about it. Let's uh, get to it. Pouring time. All right. That looks pretty nice. Uh, I would say less uh, bubble and less of a glass feel nice uh, than the previous though. one. Had a real nice sound though. Yeah, it it's, it Ooh. sounds nice. No. Uh, also, before we go, because uh, Hudson oh. <laughs> has a tenta or a test on the twenty third, I'm I'm very mm. sorry for that. Holy, oh holy <laughs> moly! Yeah. Right. Oh, 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 wow! Juniper berries. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. it is. Yes. Juniper berries. Juniper berries. The it. thing they make gin out of. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? I mean, the thing they flavor gin with. Yeah. But uh, it, it's like, not the main ingredient, but... It's, so this tastes like, this smells a lot like gin. It does. It, which, it does. <laughs> if you ask me, good point. <laughs> I mean, the Very first thing point. that hits me is like pine, which, yeah. is, which yeah. is, you know, that's, that's what I... Mm. It's not what I expected I needed from a Yulmust. But I'm kind of really pleased oh, with the smell. Yeah. Pine, this is, this is, per, this is mm. yeah, this smells Christmas. And also, like because Ooh. because pine is so at least for me because we don't have plastic uh, trees at home, we have an actual you know mm. pine. Ooh, mm. that's lovely. That I mean, is it lovely. doesn't to me very Christmassy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. lovely taste, not much you must. No. Not mustiness is, is quite no, low to me. The mustiness no. is sort of outbalanced by the taste a bit uh, sappy. Yeah. And, and, and the taste of uh, juniper. I would say it is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very nice. It really feels, you know, you get a bit of the, for viewers at home, you get a bit of this, um, the same effect you get with uh, tannic wine, which uh, stays a bit on your palate yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. sort of, feels a bit uh, rough on your teeth, like this kind of very pungent taste. And this is why we have Loic here. Yeah, I very, am. Very, very French of you. I am French, therefore I'm going to use one. This is, this is also so much more of a, like, this is very nice to just sit and smell. Yeah. Mm. I, am, I am very pleased with this. I would say this tastes like drinking a Christmas tree. It does. Yeah, like yeah. it's. Five the, on Christmas yeah, for the, me. The thing is, mm. like, it's not. This is very much a, a an, a, an experience mm. rather than like, mm, this is something I want to yeah. chug down one and a half liters of. Yeah. No, 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 but no. It's this is like a like almost, I, I would say a four mm. or a five on Christmas Eve for me. I would go five on Christmas Ness. Uh, honestly, for one reason, this couldn't be a post -must. No. Mm -hmm. I would never drink that on Easter. No, God, no. I, I will say, though, that, and I'm not surprised because it's sold at mm. Sustainable Target, this is a very adult flavor. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. it's, there's an almost, there's very little sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like and no kid would uh, a kid wouldn't enjoy and it. Well, uh, that mother, list. I do recognize that you're not going to drink any of the Yulmus. You and Alex should actually at least sniff that one. Yeah, yeah. try this one. You smell, it wait, is, smell uh, it now so we can see your reaction. Right? Yeah. yeah it smells see? like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're, we're definitely at a five on Christmas nest. Yep. Um, taste for me four. is uh, really nice. I would go for a four. Four. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, it, I, I don't go for a five because it's still, no. it's a pretty pungent yeah. and brutal taste, yeah. right? Like it doesn't have a lot of subtlety. I think it also works best in the amount we actually had. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I had more than one bottle, that'd be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mustiness, I would argue, it's not a one. It's probably a two, water? I would say. Would you have some water? I have some water. Yeah. Okay, good. There, there is a bit of I'm mustiness. Not, yeah, sure. I, it's one. not like it's a one or a two for me. Yeah, I would go two if you compare it to like basic apothecaries. Yeah. You have still a, a bit of that aftertaste. Okay, they're they're dr they're they drinking they're drinking the yes. Uniper one. Yeah, yeah, no, they, I, they actually, need to try it. I actually kind of want to watch this. So, I kind of I so want to watch their reaction. No, come over here where I can see you. Yeah. There we go. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Mado is not convinced. Uh, Alex is pretty happy with it yeah. by the looks uh, of no, things. Alex, yeah. I think good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good. Yeah. Mustiness, I would argue for two because mm. I think we're above the mustiness of like apothecaries, the basic one. I right. no, I would disagree mm. there. Yeah. I would I would say that it's yeah. more than the sugar-free apothecaries you must, but it's not. I I wouldn't even put it. Yeah, I would say a one, honestly. No, I get it. I get it. I understand. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Mortable wants to know if uh, Yulmus has any alcohol content, and no. No, I, I think s some of them display the like 0 0.3 yeah. degrees of alcohol, but I suspect it's because that's the one that are made in microbrewery, so they yeah. must reuse like the cross contamination. Uh, yeah, and I, yeah. I, like I've not, I've never experienced any like hard Yulmus. I think it's I, like it's, I think it's so far removed from what you yeah. would do with a Yulmus that no one's really yeah. thought about but, it. But but I have actually. Uh, Research a bit about Yulmus uh, cocktails uh -huh. and using uh, Yulmus as a mixer uh, because I fell deep into uh, cocktail mixing uh, mm -hmm. during quarantine. I mean, we, we choose our hobby. Yes. Uh, and is this, your, is this your baking, baking bread? Of, of no, yeah, that's what, that's what ba I did. Mm. Baking yeah. bread was my first quarantine in the sprint. Mixing cocktail was the second one. I mean, I had to go to the gym a lot in between <laughs> to manage yeah. to. Minus <laughs> bread and then popcorn. But, so... It's often um, used as a mixer with gin or rum. Yeah. I tried with gin, not super convincing. With rum, much more interesting. Yeah. Yo, you might want to. We might want to try that Imbar one with gin. I think that would pair really nicely with some gin. Yep. Excellent point. Yeah. Yeah, I could totally see that with an Ooh. Henrix or something. Ooh, that what, would be a trouble. What are we on the metrics here? Um, we're missing the glass, glass field. I would say it's four. Like it had good bubble. I would say maybe, three, but yeah. Maybe three. Maybe so three actually. Three. three. I think three. Yeah. Like it had a very nice. It had a very nice sound, but I wasn't impressed by the no, rest I of it. No, I wasn't either. I would say, it, however, it had nice bubble. It still has nice bubbles, right? The bubbles are still nice, but it's just they're so so minimal in there. I will say, um, on you, you're gonna see on uh, if you check on the spreadsheet and so on, like there is an average with your global mm. rate rating for the yeah. best you must. That being said, two things are important. First, the head of each category, I would say, are like some sort of winners as well. Yeah, like and are interesting because it's very hard for them to pe perform on all four. Yeah. And it's not necessarily one that has been like super high on one that is gonna win the whole thing, right? The second thing is like the best Yulmust is the one that you like to drink. Yeah. Oh, the one that makes yeah. your Christmas magical. No, but I, I also think that it's important to note that there are so many holy shit, there are so many Yulmus if you start looking. Yeah. So you can definitely like the same way you buy Christmas beer if you do that. Like you don't just buy one Christmas beer, you buy no. a bunch of different yeah. flavors. And the ones we're gonna come into, and especially the one with the Uniper Berry, like I feel like the ones that are flavored with something, even though they might not be the ultimate one, they still have a lot to offer. Yeah. Yeah. No, with definitely. that said, what's up? That one has a lot of like reviews on the side of it. Like it's got a lot of like four yeah, out of yeah. five it, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it actually does. So we're on uh, Nickel Brigadier, mm -hmm. um, and it's the the Yulmus uh, from Norbotten. So they're Yulmus from the north. Yep. Uh, Very north. Uh, it, it, it has a subtitle that is Gamaldags, so yeah. the old days, yeah. if yeah. my Swedish is correct. Yep. So very much, at least in terms of advertisement, positioning itself as sort of this old-timely northern product. The Yulmus, I think, is a northern thing. I don't, I, I don't like... This or at is, least it's branded as such. Yeah. Wait, didn't, didn't we have a history lesson about this? I only read the Wikipedia, Wikipedia page like oh. four times. And oh, so, okay. and I don't actually know where the, because all Yulmus is created, like the flavoring is created by one company. Right. But I'm not 100% sure where that one company is actually located. All right. So what you're saying is now your next hobby for lockdown 
is making your most flavors. You can't do that. Only like four people know the recipe. Well, you gotta you gotta work on it. I'm not so issues. this is getting serious because this has indeed a lot of <coughs> review. Rated five stars by Expressen yeah. in 2014 and 2019. Rated five star by Afton Bladet, mm -hmm. which oh, is one out. of the main Swedish watch newspaper out. in uh, 17 and 18. Uh, rated five star by Meat Cook, yeah. which is. My can you, kitchen. Can you get the Can yeah. you get those uh, reviews on the camera there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Uh, I can have them there. We there. Go. there and we go. also, uh, I think winning uh, best at uh, one of the seasonal like food salon in Sweden mm. last year as well. So we are on a competition. You must. I would oh, say. Yes. Oh, and it's got a reusable tension cord. I would. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Let's uh, let's go on the um, let's go Pork on can. the pouring uh, camera and mic for the opening. This looks very nice. I must say, uh, even if it's a marketing ploy, the the very old timey bottle and the branding, like that works. It's, mm -hmm. it, it, it's at least part of the Christmasness for let, me. Let, let's get another here of this. Lovely. Oh, that is lovely. Lovely. Sounds lovely. So nice initial uh, glass feel. Um, mm -hmm. Good head. It disappears quickly. Disappears quickly. Falls a bit flat. Keeps the ring of bubbles still. It does. It does have a very distinct Yulmus smell. Oh well, yeah. Mm. Yeah. No, this is good. Yeah. This is pretty yeah. Good. See what we when we talk about the mustiness, mm -hmm. you get it. Mm -hmm. That's a high mustiness you'll must. Mm -hmm. I I really like how um, the carbonation in this is for me for a must is on point. It is. Yeah. It's to the point where it's it's a maybe a bit too much. So like it it it's a bit tingly. Yeah. Which I like from a must. Mm. Yeah, it's very good you must. Mm -hmm. And it's not like it's not like that that heavy cloying aftertaste either. Like you All finish right. it and you're like, oh, yeah, like it's actually I'm done. With yeah, this. like it's not too sweet, but it does mm. stay a bit. I would go taste wise. I would go at a four. Four. four yeah. Yeah. Me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, Christmasness. Mm, We're gonna three? get into an interesting question. Could it be a post must? That's why I was gonna say three because. And I think it could be a post yeah. must. Yeah. No, I think mm. you're right. Yeah. Two or three. So. Just for context, for viewers, yeah, two or three. Most Yulmust and Postmust, which is the Yulmust of Easter, <coughs> are actually exactly the same recipe for yep. most brands. Yeah. So this question is sometimes a tiny bit biased. Yeah, two or three for me. Yeah. Um, Christmasness, yeah, full out of three, I would say. Yeah. It's I, still I'm, like good must, and it yeah. has this sort of like wintry, Christmassy. They design could like they they could have done. Here's the thing, I like. They could have done. They could have upped the Christmasness of the actual packaging. Like yeah. the bottle's great, but I, Dro know. I mean, drop a fucking Santa in there. Exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, or <laughs> like, give me a pine tree or something. Yeah. yeah like yeah, some yeah. snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, th th this feels more like the mousse you would drink after a day uh, at a ski yeah. Yeah. resort. Yeah. Like, that seems like this kind of must. Uh, mustiness yeah. very high. I think yeah, we're. I'm at a four or five, probably. Yeah, I'm at a four. I'd say four. I'd say four. I I, I know, I know you have a five on, in mustiness coming, and I know what it is, and I agree. Uh, Glassphere was pretty good, not exceptional. Yeah. Mm, three, three. I, I mean, with I I would say three, but mm. with I think the bottle puts it at four. Um, yeah. The uh, sound. Yeah, yeah. The, the sound. The, the bottle. The experience of it being poured, I would say, could bump it up to I, four. I, I think I that's, a, a, that's four. a very good argument. Which put it as, a, as an average um, equal, and actually with the same... That's a problem for me. It has this, it's at the same rating as uh, at Apotheconis Vintimus 2019 Oof. on all criteria. Ow. Do we feel we're wrong somewhere? I feel like this is better than 2019. I do too. Yeah. But at the same time, I I think it's fine for them to be at be at the same uh, place. 
Uh, I mean, since it's one to five, there's always going to be... And we have to go on the reaction I, we have. Yeah, I want to say, either we need to amp up the mustiness of this one or lower the mustiness of the 2019 Apothecaness uh, Vintermust, because this is more musty for me. I'm yep. fine with lowering, lowering Apothe Apothecaness. Lower. Yeah, let's lower it. All right. I also just... Here's the thing. I, <coughs> I just had a... I, I had my first Yulmus burp, and it was very junipery. Mm, yeah. And I am on board for that. Yeah, Holy was, moly, it's it the yeah. best burp I've had so like. it was It was lovely. Yeah, yeah. no, no, that's... Uh, well, there's our, there's, our, there's our bonus criteria for next year. Yeah. <laughs> so, d does that mean, <laughs> considering like the, the quality of the posthumous burp, like, d would we erase the I think taste to five? No, no. Because, well, I think leaving it I mean, there. I'm just asking the harsh question there. Yeah, I think it's partly because I wouldn't be able to identify any of the other burps right. exactly. as, as clearly. Wait, fair. so we should give just we should just add an extra point to that one, arbitrary point value one. That's a lot for a burp, though. Yeah. Well, it's I, one I, for you know all what? four I, categories I'm gonna, balancing. I, I, I'm going to put right. a note, uh, yeah. and I'm going to add uh, a note uh, column. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am, um, oh, it's gonna take a second. And I am gonna go with um, different crooks. I'm gonna add a uh, good burp. Mm. Wait, wait, so uh, the control room does not like this most <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't know what's wrong with them. The, the, the one we just tasted? Yeah. Huh. What the heck? I think it's a, it's maybe the the high mustiness. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand it. I think they're... Yeah. But anyway, we're starting, and we're actually going through uh, the list. Uh, yeah. We're now uh, going with a long series. Uh, oh, actually, I think we don't have... Well, we will see. Yep. A, a long series uh, with uh, Nugorda, yes. which is one of the main uh, Yule Boost uh, brand in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Nugorda has a whole series uh, that are sort of the same base uh, must, but they do aging. Yes. And they do aging of uh, Yulmus in various kind of uh, kegs. And so we're going to go with, we're starting actually with uh, bourbon. Uh, we have then cognac. cognac. Not, not a keg if it's been opened. It's just a barrel now. Oh, a barrel. Ah, yes. That, that's why we have a native English speaker in this. Yeah. Uh, so in various barrel. So bourbon, cognac, we're going to do with straight oak. Uh, and we have rum as well. Yeah. There is also a port, port but, but I didn't manage to get it's one. It's been sold out. Yeah. And um, Nugorda is, a, I would say, is a reference of like sort of fancy Ulmus in yeah. Sweden. They are also sold uh, in uh, some of them. I think the one of them that have maybe a bit of more alcohol, like above zero one or something, it still doesn't have any yeah. alcohol, is it? But some of them are sold on the in-system get as well. Yeah. Right, because it's it's absorbing out of that barrel. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. And um, yeah, they are usually quite interesting and mm -hmm. quite strong on their uh, flavor. Yeah. So let's go on the pouring of uh, Lograd Yulmust from Nugorda Bourbon Fat mm -hmm. uh, from uh, 2019. And it's aged for six months in the barrel. Ooh, it's like a fine cheese in a bourbon barrel. I, I think I'd like that. It might be all right. Yeah, as a French person, I don't have a problem with this. <laughs> as a Texan, I don't Pouring either. time. That's a good pop. So we get the typical you go to glass sphere, mm -hmm. I want to say. Mm -hmm. Like, it gets these nice bubbles, very thick layer, thick. Yes, look mm -hmm. at this. That's a good, that's, that's yeah, a good yeah. head on that. Look at that. Mm. Yeah, that's some proper head. But it also like, I okay. Like yeah, but okay. is there any bourbon in this? Like in just the smell? What? No, none at all. No, it's like it's just it's just like there's something that's made the mm. must mustiness be slightly muted. Hmm. You can taste the barrel though. Oh. Yeah, you can definitely taste the oh the bourbon yeah. barrel in that. It's got the the smoky. Yeah. 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 I, PT. PT taste. Here's the. 
I, I, I mean, they've succeeded with what they're going for. Mm -hmm. Am I a fan of it? It's, no, I, don't know. I don't know. And we had this conversation last year. It's sort of my problem with uh, Nugoda um, Lograd. Yeah. It's, it definitely gives you the taste. Yeah. Notes of coffee. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. exactly. Which is good for the mustiness, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yep. But it gives you the taste, but it but goes also it's like. Got, like really good legs on it, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. I mean, the, the, the glass sphere is generally really good at the yep. border. But yeah, they do what they do very well, but they're usually not great at hitting all the no, criteria. And last time we did this, we had the. Uh, we had. Last year, they had Calvados. Uh, mm. aged uh, barrel uh, or they uh, hadn't aged in Calvados uh, barrels and that wasn't that wasn't a hit for me either yeah. there are there's and we're going to get to that when we'll try it but there are some of these that work a lot better than others yeah this one I hmm. don't necessarily I mean, like taste is interesting I would put it at a three like it's the, it's the <coughs> average it's a good like I want to be very clear for everyone it is a good drink it's an interesting yeah. drink it has flavor yeah. it's definitely not at I the actually, level of the end bear one. I actually have something to say on this one for a change. Something mm. to add to this. So, Texas, you get a lot of bourbon barrel age and like whiskey barrel age. Mm. And usually when you put something in an oak barrel, like an oak barrel that has had bourbon or whiskey in it, it comes out just tasting like, oh, this is a bourbon barrel. Mm. And I can't really taste what it is. This has enough of the flavor so that it's like, I can taste the coffee notes, mm. I can taste the peaty notes, I can taste the oak and smoky notes in it, but it still tastes like Yule Moose enough that you're like, oh, this is definitely a Yule Moose that has been aged in a barrel. Mm. Not, this is a no. something something that they put in, mm. a ubiquitous nonsense that they put into a barrel. Mm. This actually has enough flavor that I'm like, this is a Yule Moose that was put mm. into a barrel and, and aged. It actually isn't overpowering in one direction or another, and I actually appreciate the fact that it's not overpowering me one way or another. It's actually interesting. Yeah, no, no, I think they, they do it well, right? The, the balance of flavor is good, and I would say it's nice. Three or four in taste, probably. I mean, it's a three for me. Three. Let's go for a three. Christmas that Christmasness falls a bit two. flat for me. Yeah, two it's, a, for it's me. a two, yeah, yeah. Mustiness, I it's actually four. not too bad. I would go three. probably for a three or three four. Or yeah, I'm, 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 I'm okay for three. Yeah, it, it, it has mustiness compared to like once again or reference with classic apothecaries that is very much like fizzy and Christmassy but not musty. This has mustiness. Glass feel very it's, good. It's great looking yeah. glass feel. I it, think it's a solid four. I think that's a four. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a solid four yeah. for the glass feel. I I might argue for five for the glass feel actually. Ooh, okay. Let's hear. Interesting. What, uh, I mean, okay. let's. Let, let, it does. I have mean, really it does. It, it, let, let's let, let's pour it again. Just uh, pour for. Cam. Like, let, look at the thickness of uh, the yeah. head. Yeah, I mean, it it did have a nice pop. I will give you that. Like, yeah. the theatrics of that bottle is great. Yeah, nice so. pop. And, and we keep, like, a very large, like, nice texture of the head. Yeah. And it keeps nice legs as well. I would... I would sure, I will, I, I will give you a... F I will five it is. Yeah. Uh, and in the meantime, I'd also like to point out that uh, Siri... It talks about New Gorda and says, uh, the referee on Lord Edgemus falls a bit flat to me because it feels like they're trying too hard to make Yulmus a fancy thing. Yulmus is serious and fancy, but New Gorda falls flat on being pretentious. Their standard must is the best, which but is an interesting point that I do not agree with, but we'll <laughs> get to that. Well, and so this is this is the kind of bottle that, like, it's, mm. it's like two or three days before Christmas, you're shopping around, and you see it, and you're like... Yeah. Oh, that looks interesting. And then you buy it and you get to Christmas I, and you drink it. I, and I would drink it and not be sad, right? I'd drink yeah. it and be like, that this was, is, that, that that was is, fine. That's something I would, if, if, I, if I weren't bringing the Yulmust, I, I normally would bring to a friend's like, uh, like a week before Christmas <coughs> luncheon oh, or, or dinner. Yeah, yeah, I'm oh, doing that. Oh, yeah, do it. Do it. I'm getting a small piece because yeah, do it. it was terrible the first time. That, um, so. that one's the same, but it also has cream sugar and white chocolate in it. It's essentially just sweet. It's certainly better than a standard like yours. I, I, I disagree. I like it better too. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it feels like a adult version of a yours. It does. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, that, that I wouldn't like, say it's good. Don't no, 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 no. Like, no. That feels like you've just gotten done with a church service, and like the pastor's like, we got you a goodie bag, and gives you like candy. You eat one of those <laughs> oh, I see terrible marshmallow yeah, Santas, you. and you're like, yeah. thank you, because you well, can't be impolite. Yeah, you're well, just like, thank you. Yeah. I, 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 I like that we're, we're starting for the, um, for the international viewers. Mm -hmm. Like, in this chat, second show, as we're starting to have a proper Swedish argument, about what's best you almost. Yeah. Uh, uh, is, that's, that's where you want to be. Yeah, Oscar disagrees with Siri uh, that Apotheknes standard over Nygårda standard any day. And I think that's, um, I mean, I think I think the panel here has been pretty clear on that point, but yeah. we will get to, we'll get to think, Nygårda soon. I think soon. sadly we don't have any uh, Nygårda standards uh, because <laughs> I only found it in plastic bottles and yeah. it fell a bit out. But it's something we can also, we can edit the rating later. It is yeah. very easy you almost to find. Yeah, Siri also says, I choose a regular Coke over Apotheknes every day of Christmas. Nigoda would be my go in a regular grocery store. Yeah, but Siri also drinks entirely too much Coke, so that's not saying. All right. That's We're getting uh, to the second um, Logrodi Ulmus from Nigoda, mm -hmm. and this one is uh, their Cognac Fat, which mm. I think is a new flavor this year. I think they replaced uh, the Calvados by yeah, this one this year. It, it might be, yeah. Hmm. So uh, let's. Uh, Kanye's got a lot of sugar, so I'm interested let's in this one. See how it turns out. Power. Oops. Poured a bit of my hand right there. Sorry, we have paper towels. Uh, the thing, the thing I. Uh, yeah, we can talk. I think. Well, the thing I want to say about these new Gorda ones is I, I actually, since these are uh, glass bottles, uh, 33 centiliters. These I really like just drinking out of the bottle. Hmm. Yes. Which is, I think is the best way to kind of enjoy these. Yeah, yeah, no, they, oh. they're, they're very yeah. nice. This one has the same thing where it's like, there's something slightly funky with the uh, with the smell, but it's I feel uh, it's uh, easier it, to identify here. Yeah, keep your nose on it and take a deep breath and you get the cognac like yeah. immediately. Yeah. The taste doesn't come through as much on the cognac, but I think it's also because it's conflicting flavors. Oh, but when he, hmm. oh, oh, there's an there's an aftertaste mm -hmm. of it, and mm -hmm. then it disappears. That's what I'm saying. I think it's conflicting flavor yeah. profiles. Yeah. So that it they kind of overshadow each other. Not that either one's stronger or, you know, weaker than the other, but it just kind of no, overshadows it, each other. I'm gonna say something mean. Mm. It's like a badly mixed drink. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, like I when agree. you go to a bar and you're like, I'd like a rum and coke, and it's like, yeah, yeah they're just like, what little, did you? That coke is flat and that rum isn't good. Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of this. No, mm. this was su this is surprisingly bad. Uh, it's a very subpar cognac mix. Yeah, grossly with it. No, it's not a success. I mean, that glass feel is still there, right? Yeah, no, it's still the Nigoda glass feel. It's not as good as the big bottle, of course, because yeah. the theatrics are less. But no, it's a two in taste for me. Yeah, no, n no more than two. Yeah. I I could go to one because I'm I'm not a fan of this. I'd say one. Yeah, it's it's. I'd say a one. Honestly, I mean, it's mainly I'm okay. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go for a one because between sort of like the what they were going for, yeah. like going yeah. super fancy with cognac and so on, and where they land. Right, exactly. I feel like it's one of those where both flavors make the other one worse. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like Christmas. Yes, yeah. maybe no two, no two maybe. Two. I mean, it's a sad Christmas, which is also very Christmassy. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it is. So for that reason, I I could go as high as three, but that's because part of my Christmas is sitting here crying. I would go as two because yeah, it, it has a taste of you've already had too many drinks, but yeah. Yeah. you go for the cognac because it's Christmas. That's it. But it doesn't. That's really, what this is. You that's, don't appreciate it. That's right? what this is. This is that drink that it's it's like ten minutes till closing time, and you drunkenly stumble up to the bar and you're like. Bartender, give me another one. He's like, yeah. I just don't care anymore. Here you go, yeah. go away. I'm, I'm oh, sad yeah. to report that my burp are no longer juniper. I mean, we can it's, go get the juniper. Grab you some more. It's, yeah. But, 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 but I yes. think I'm going to buy a couple of more of the defense crude. Like, yeah. 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 like, it is a... Yeah, the uh, uh, nastiness is at a two for me. There is a bit yeah. of it, more than the standard, yeah. but it's not great. Glass VR was maybe at a four. It yeah. was, yeah, it was a four. bit below, like, the previous one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Well. Maybe um, it has to do with the size of the bottle as yeah. well. I, but, I think, um, as as Sir points out, so mm. far this is definitely the most, the most, most of the year. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it, 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 it ended up at the same rating as the base apothecaries. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I think that, it's saying a lot when you know like offenses they get. Like this is a Ulumos yeah. you can only buy at System I get. Yeah. And it ends up there, which is a disappointment. Yeah. You don't have to try that one, mother. Oh no, we do have the... Oh, now she's intrigued. Yeah. No. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we do have the original, yep. which is great. Um, so we're going to go with uh, Nugoda, your most original uh, receipt, the receipt they're using since 1910. Since uh, that's as they brag on the label. That's, that's bold since it got popular in 1920. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. Uh, with natural malt, oak, humlero. Uh, what, what, what now? Oak. Humle Arom. Humle Arom. Humle oh, Arom. Uh, Arom of um, yeah, Humle, which is, uh, shit, what is, is it, it's, is it barley? Oh, it's maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hops. Hops. See, Oscar's Hops. on it. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Yep, yep. All right, all right. So, so we're going for, at least the way they advertise it, we're on an OG, you almost. Uh, yes. So let's pour it up. I'm going to. I am now gonna see. If maybe this is this is better now that I'm eating Yulmus and uh, drinking Yulmus. I'm 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 here for it. Everything no, is sort it's of. It's still the same. It's not as good as the Yulmus. <laughs> Sir, chew first, then speak. No, I'm sad. All right. <clears throat> so nice glass fill. Uh, pretty pretty good. I would say not as uh, thick as the one from the big bottle of uh, bourbon fat, but uh, but the not much smell to it either. No, not but we're all we're back on mm. the almost smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I have to get I have to get this stupid fudge out of my. Oh, this, oh, I hate this fudge so much. You have aired. You see how much I had? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I'm I, like, I took a smaller bite than you. I'm. The rest of mine is here. You're also like a third the size of me, so. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but my. Mm, that is very nice. Mm hmm This is this is pretty much what I think of when somebody it's, says you. It's this. weird though now that we've had so many that are like have some type of flavorings in it. Mm -hmm. So you kind of feel like there's something missing because yeah. there's not that yeah. tasting note that fills up the rest it's of also, the. Also, to be fair, if we compared it to as uh, Nickel um, <coughs> Brigadier. Mm hmm it's uh, it's not as flavorful, I feel. I mean, it is, I'm, but it doesn't have... Mm. Do you, do you want to... Okay, I, I think it's a fuller flavor, but not as diverse you, or uh, here's, of here's, here's something that will make uh, Twitch chat fight. I think this is on par with the Apotheakanas base Yulmust. Yeah. What? Yeah, oh. I think they taste the same. Yeah, pretty much for me. This is, mm -hmm. honestly, mm -hmm. honestly, this, this is what I think of when I think of Yulmust. I don't know if that's because I've only had you know like you can get this at a get a grocery store mm. for me it's uh, it's better than the base apothecaries it's also it's not the base base new gorda it is the original in glass bottle and so on yeah yeah like i mean that part is is a lot better but than but, but it has more after this like yeah. remember base you're gonna for it's flat very fast it does mm. yeah no i mean i'll i'll allow you to uh, i'll allow you to to step up the taste, uh, one no, from. Uh, I would go at three for the taste or something. Three. I'm um, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I like three. Which, is, which was also base. Uh, uh, oh no, base apothecaries was at a two, and yeah. I think that's fair to be at a three. Christmasness. Two, two. maybe a no, maybe like a one. I, like it's. Two? I mean, base base you most because it is a very like standard one. It's still kind of Christmassy to me. Yeah. yeah. The I think the the follow up question there is. Could that be a poskmus? Which is the exact sense. question I was going to ask. Yeah, because yeah. I think no, this could, could definitely easily. be a poskmus. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Yeah, I guess that does make it fall a bit. Yeah, yeah. so I would go for a two. Two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Two. yeah fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, mustiness is I would say a bit higher than normal apotheconess, but two, not three. very there. Maybe at two. I two. I can go three on the must here. Yeah. Main, mainly because it's a clean must. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. It is. Yeah. And glass fion was three. at the three, yeah, yeah nothing yeah. exceptional. Yeah. Still, I must say, solid most, a bit above like the the basic, um, and I mean presents well on the. Table. Yeah, like it's still a, like I think that's uh, as as uh, Siri and Oscar are, to are talking about that the apothecaries uh, base you most is usually uh, enjoyed in a can, and mm. I think 
Like, I do think that the glass bottle is the superior way yeah. of drinking it. Almost, if you're not drinking it and a... Well, and no. that was and that was what I was saying is like that was a clean like like Abatekana yeah. is like it's like this is a a sugary beverage this is like oh that's clean that's a yeah, clean yeah, yeah, yeah. No, flavor but less than the sugar so a good good reference I would say as all Nugoda a bit braggy yeah like they make it look like this is gonna be the best Yulmust of yeah. your life. It's, I mean, okay. the uh, Nikke Birgiria was was also kind of braggy, but they actually stepped up. They stepped it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, clearly. Definitely. Um, so we're continuing with uh, Nugorda, uh, going for the straight up uh, oak barrel. Mm -hmm. uh, so Logrod Yulmus Ekfat. Uh, pretty much the same standard. So uh, let's uh, go with it. It is basically, I think, the one we just drank, but aged six months in a yeah. classic barrel, right? Let's uh, pour it. Was it yours? Yeah. yeah. I will also say, speaking of, of the horrible fudge I made, uh, the the recipe I found on a food blog was also like, you can also do this with like uh, scum banana, which is like the mm. marshmallow mm. banana yeah. ones. And I was like, this yeah, wait, person who made that recipe has no... Um, um, Nurgle, Nurgle, if you can hear me, I need you to pull up a picture of a circus peanut, the, the candy from America, and show him, please. Thank you. All right. So, honest glass film. Nice little uh, bubbles sticking yeah. individually, like mm -hmm. uh, not a clean ring, but those little. Uh, oh, it does have some nice legs, though. Yeah. Mm, about the same, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm trying. I'm not seeing much difference. I'm trying to find the oak, and I, if I, if I'm, mm. yeah, I'm being charitable. You can get it, at, like the aftertaste, if you. If you do a lot of like the, the heavy mouth breath, yeah, like like close off your mouth and breathe out through your nose and let well, the air fill your mouth, you can taste the oak. Like, I'm gonna be harsh. I think it's marketing bullshit. Like the wool, I don't think aging in oak makes it any more interesting I, than the one we just drank. The the problem they also run run into. There we right? go. Circus peanut. How big is that thing? About that big. Oh, oh no. They're terrible. But the more you talk oh, about yeah. like marshmallow bananas and these terrible marshmallow Santas, the more I'm like, that's a circus peanut um, with no, a different I, hat. I think the aging gives it much more acidity, which is yeah, not necessarily a good thing. Mm -mm. It's sharper, but mm -mm. it's like a yeah, bit sharper, exactly. But it's also like one of those mm. things where it's like, I don't like it. Would I rather drink this than the standard Yulmust? No, I would go for the standard. Standard. I I wouldn't. But that's all. Yeah. That's mainly because I'm like because this is sharper, it's less sweet. And mm. I, I think that I think the I think you're correct. Mm. But I'm like from my f flavor profile this year, I would rather have the oak. But I think you're correct in that the standard one is better. Yeah. yeah. So I would go at two in taste. And and one of my things, yeah, two. Uh, one of the, one of the things I'm kind of coming back to, right, is like. Looking at the bottle size, looking at the serving size, if I got a full bottle of this, I would be so over it by the time I finish this yeah. bottle. I would be so done that I'm like, well, I don't have to drink Yomus for another mm -hmm. yeah. six weeks. But like the, the original, yeah. I could no, drink I one and then like be like, oh, okay, I can move yeah, on. Yeah, no, from I, this. I agree. But it's, it's all of this sharp, flat uh, yeah. taste. Uh, Christmas Ness, I would go at a two. two. It's, it's a bit the same. Mustiness, I, for me, it lost mustiness it compared two. to the original. I, I agree, too. Yeah, yeah. Two for me. Uh, Glass Vion was at a three, three similar. I mean, I think it might have gone up a bit because I did like the legs and the bubbles the and the fair. ring. Yeah. That's fair, yeah. that's fair. We, we, we can go at a four for the Glass Vion. Overall, a very flat must. It was. It was very disappointing, yeah. honestly. Mm. Not, and I, this is uh, great. We should also point out that this is something where, of course, at the start of this, where we tend to generally be more enthusiastic. And then the more musts you're through, I think we're through about half of them at this point. Yeah. You kind of get like yeah. more, like even though well, like this is this is clearly a, an okay must. We've had worse musts yeah. before. You're, we're probably gonna sound a bit, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, well, yeah. It's it's also like we're starting to dial in, like yeah, we've, the the good, the bad. I don't want to know about you guys, good, but the bad, the we've 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 had a lot of musts this <laughs> yeah. like today. Uh, this one I am looking forward I'm to. I'm still getting Juniverse. Yeah. I mean, it's still nice. ended, but... Uh, oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah. It's just, it's it's like not the primary note in the burp now, but like I burp and I'm still like, oh, that, that tastes like I mean, I, if, like, 
regardless of all of the, I, I definitely need to swing by Sustainable Log at some point and get more of them. Yeah. Hey, let me guys. Not, yeah, let me know I guys mean, the, 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 the different strokes. The, un the only thing that uh, sh shoots it in the legs, uh, if I may, is uh, is a mustiness because it yeah. has, yeah. it has none, no mustiness. None, yeah. So it drags him down in terms of like global uh, rating. But if you consider, like, if you ignore the mustiness criteria, if mustiness is not very important to you, it's definitely the leading one. Yep. But otherwise, the leading one at this point is uh, Nuckel Brigerier. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. Also, we, we have more than 100 people watching right now, and yes. I, I don't understand how this why, happens. Why, why wouldn't they? <laughs> they, must, they must watch us. I mean, here's the thing. Like, before when we were planning this, we were talking, and this was several months ago, uh, Loic sent me like a sent me like an old YouTube video from like oh, ten years bad. ago with like Danko Jones testing Yule Must, and they had like three different ones, and we're like, terrible. this is garbage. No, 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 clearly this is the content people want. Yeah, I, I think like I hope we we, we get shared on uh, our Sweden on Reddit. That's or something. not happening. But uh, I, I just like I think we can easily say that we are the best stream Yule Must testing content out there on the internet yeah yeah no i'm 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 just i'll stand by that yeah. just saying it yeah it's content yeah. you'll enjoy yeah. we should have a tagline on that like for when we upload the uh, yeah. video mm. all you, right you we're know going, i got the funds I, i'm here all day <laughs> we're going with uh la grad you almost rom uh from Ugoda as well the last of our uh, classic uh uh Ugoda, um aged uh you almost this one with rom so a bit of a piratey you almost mm -hmm. maybe let's see I, I see that we have another one. Attack Mac, another one of the Apotheconas stands coming into Twitch chat. Uh, they must have missed the start. Uh, but, you know, we, we have opinions on Apotheconas. <coughs> Apotec uh, it's, uh, it's a most... I think, I think the, the, the unfair thing about Apotheconas, and I can reshare uh, the link uh, to uh, the rating in the chat for those who have joined us uh, in... Uh, Mid show, yeah. Apothecanus resonates so strongly with every Swede. It is such like it, it's ubiquitous, important yeah. in your upbringing. As yeah. a child, is the one you drink. It is absolutely okay it's to enjoy have. it as a favorite. Yeah. It's a must have. Yeah. yeah. Then I have to say, thinking it's the best is closing your yeah. horizon to much better mists. This is a surprisingly bad glass feel for being a uh, new Gorda. Yeah. Yeah. It falls a bit. It's very much on the ROM. Yeah. Mm. I don't like it. Mm. I don't like it. I like this. I don't like it. I think this combination works the best out of the Nigorda <coughs> uh, barrel aged ones. Did you try swishing it around in your mouth? It brings out a real skunky tone to it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, um, it's better than the cognac. Yeah, but that's, yeah. that's, mm -hmm. that's, I, I like this more than oak. I'll give that one to you. Yeah. I will give that. Hey, it's, it's, it's just, a bit on par with the bourbon for me. It, yeah, mm -hmm. it's about the bourbon for me too. It's just very skunky. I, I think the thing, I think yeah. the thing the bourbon has on the rum is that mm -hmm. the bourbon is more interesting. But that's mm. also because I've had this before. Yeah. yeah, and I would say the bourbon is also better in mustiness. Uh, I think the rum kills a lot of it the does. other yeah. tastes. Yeah. It does, and that's, that's kind of what was upsetting for me was like the first si time mm. I sipped it was like, it's that's very... just rum. Yeah. That tastes like, like watered down rum. I will, also, I will also give you that it's more of a, it has more of a, like, it's a, like a non-alcoholic rum essence. That you might, uh, yeah. that you might add yeah. to like uh, exactly. syrup for like a baking yeah. and stuff, you know, rather than an actual like yeah, we've added rum to this. That's that's what it is. Mm. That's yeah. what it is. Did you guys ever have like the Dum Dums suckers? They have the rum butterscotch flavored Dum Dums. Okay, this tastes like that. It tastes like mm. somebody's. It tastes like a, mm. like a candy maker is trying to make rum flavored for children. Mm -hmm. That's what this mm. tastes like, like rum flavor for kids. Yeah. No, uh, I think in taste it's a two, two. for me. I'm I'm two. I'm three, but uh, fair enough. Um, 
Now, I, I could go here's straight. The, here, he's better than Yelk. Yeah, he's here, here's the Yelk. thing. I like the taste more, but I, the Christmassy is less. Less, yeah. Right. I agree. Because the rum is very strong. Christmassy two. for me, it falls at a two. Yeah. Mustiness, I would say a three. two or... It, it's not very musty. It's very musty, but maybe not in the right way. I get what you mean. I think right. for me, the, the key factor of the mustiness is what stays on your palate. Right. Uh -huh. And, and, and it's very rum. much the rum. Right. Yeah. I'm still yeah. tasting yeah, the okay. rum. Yeah. So, so mustiness, I would go at a two. It's, Glass it's sphere was disappointing. Disappointing, one. Two. Ooh. I mean, two it's maybe. not a one. Two. It's a two I, yeah, at least. So, like, look, like, no, there's nothing in there. Yeah, but how much, of, how much of that disappointment is because of the other new Gorda being so good yeah, in that Glassfield. May be, that may be a factor, that may be a factor. Okay. Because yeah. Glassfield, we never been at one. Even Apothecaryness was yeah. at two. And I don't so. think this is the worst Glassfield of the bunch. No. Yeah. No, no, no. You know, okay, I might give it a three in flavor. Just because I'm not disappointed with the aftertaste? No, I mean, yeah. it, it's right? pleasing like, yeah. to drink. We've had yeah. some that were disappointing on the yeah. aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. I Go. might give it a like, three Like, on, like the cognac taste. was yeah. really yeah. like... Yeah. The aftertaste yeah. on the cognac just... Right. It was yeah. dis disappointing. Give me a three on the rum. It's time! It is time. It's so, time! So it is the point where uh, I think we're going to listen a lot to Troy. Because, like... Anders and I are going to be strongly biased. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we're going to a classic of Yulmust in Sweden. Yeah. Okay, time um, to put the shoes on. Seriously. This is uh, Zoynerst uh, Yulmust. Yep. First, what I want to say about Zoynerst, they have the best label design. Yeah, can you get it closer all... to the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on a Yulmust drinking center. Yes. Like, very nice label. Very clean. It's also like, it has a, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's a bit... Uh, uh, golden reflective. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very, very nice. Oh, it's so good. Foil. It's, made, fact, yeah. it's made by uh, Zoyner's uh, Brigade. Um, yeah, well, so Zoyner's Brigade used to be a thing. Uh, well, it's, they're not a thing anymore. And they, they used to produce a lot more like beer and sodas and stuff. <clears> and then they kind of went under. So it's still being produced, as far as I know, by that uh, recipe and that brewery. But it's like. There isn't really a Zoyner's yeah. brewery outside of the brand. Yeah. But there is a beer that is called Zoyner's, yeah. Zoyner's as well, that is like made by the same brand, right? Um, and this was last year our highest ranking must in mustiness. Right. Uh, it is a very musty must. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a personal favorite. I wasn't, I discovered it through the Yulmus tasting, yeah. uh, tasting last year. And uh, it's been my go-to must ever since. Yeah, uh, we, we should also mention for those of you not in, in Sweden, in Stockholm, Soynet uh, a few years ago, uh, because uh, the Paradox offices and, uh, you know, the places where we work is in Södermalm in Stockholm, which is like, this is where the hipsters hang out. This is where everyone uh, does their own, like, we bake our bread, we, we wear hats, you know. We all, wear hats, yes. All, all of that stuff. But more importantly, a few years ago, everyone suddenly agreed that Soynet's the best Yulmust, and it got really hard to find mm. uh, Soynet's Yulmust in yeah. Stockholm up till the point where someone was like, well, all the hipsters wants to buy it, so... Yeah, you know. it's a very hipster Yulmust, yeah. let's be honest. It's also, it, it, it's sold in, um, like, carton boxes oh, yep. yeah. that have, a, like, a very nice, like, old-school look, yeah. uh, which is, yeah, well, I mean... Pork ham time? We're, we're, we're all... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's time. <laughs> all right. So I wouldn't say Glassphere is necessarily where Zoyners is the strongest. It's solid. Like, mm -hmm. we, we, we don't see, like, bubble disappearing. Uh, it, it keeps, like, a bit of legs, but nice, it's not... Nice even head on, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have the the best one, but it's still pretty solid. Like you can see in my glass, it it start like it disappears pretty quickly, but it keeps like some legs and so on. Um, but it, it's in taste where I think it is. Uh, and it's also fine. like the 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 taste of it is not as sweet most as yeah. Most I think of. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the, the defining point of Joiners is it it has very, it has a lot of coffee like yeah. in taste. It's yeah. very musty. That's that's really strong. It's also like it's it's pleasant throughout. Like it does it change the the coffee 
flavor gets stronger at the end, but it lingers in a good way. Yeah. The after the aftertaste is also interesting because it's it's sweet without being cloying. It's like it's, it's got like coffee, yeah. like it's got burnt sugar. Yeah, caramelized sugar. Mm, yeah. yeah, I can see that. I think Sean must be like raging at home because he's usually like or contender against Shiners, mm. and um, uh, it is trying to to be objective there, uh, which is difficult because I have now a personal connection to this most. Yeah. I think Taste wise, I think it has a very specific taste. Yeah, it's it's. I would say it's not. If you're looking for specifically, here's a the most traditional Yulmus you can find. That's probably Apotheak and it's yeah. basic, but it's that's not necessarily the tastiest Yulmus you can find. I like. I think this is tastier, but if 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 we're uh, mm. and mustier, but it's like it's not necessarily the classic. Yeah, which is why in Christmasness it would go a bit down. I think like they, they compensate a lot with a very nice label and so yeah. on. But this could be a past most. This could be something I drink. I, I will say almost all year long. Like I, I think I, the, I think I see what you're saying. I think the issue, and partly here is <coughs> what saves it is the branding, because mm. it's not available as a post most, and I would never like see it as a as a post most mm. uh, kind of thing. But if we want to go through the through the metrics, yeah. I think it's three. Three on taste. I'm four. Yeah, I'm four. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, here's the thing. I want to be five, but I am four. I'm, I'm three just because it's very simple. And while the simple flavors are good, it's very simple. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's no additional top, flavor there's profile. There's no top notes. Right. There's yeah, no, no additional flavor it's, profile. Yeah, yeah. It's very simple. It's very plain. So I'd give it a three yeah. on flavor for me. I mean, that's me. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, I would go at four. I mean, I, I my, really like that it has this taste of coffee, of like yeah. lots of mustiness. It's very balanced for me. It, it, it's not strong, I must say, and that's why I'm going to go lower on Christmas. It's not strong on the spices. No, no. it's not at all. Uh, it, it's very much like a more basic test. But the, I, I, and I'm also four, but my, mm. my main worry right now is how much of, of the... And nostalgia does play a really big right, part right. In, a, in a holiday drink. It's valid. Yeah. Regardless. So for that reason, I'm, I'm, I want to say five, but I think with, with, uh, with Troy being like, no, it's a three... No, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable I mean, at a four. The, yeah. the other one we were rated at four, uh, there are three others, were uh, the Vintermousse 2019, yes. mm -hmm. uh, the Dufus Crook Henbear, Agreed. and uh, Nucle Brigadier. Agreed. And, and honestly, I, I put it at the same level. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I, I, I still stick on three. I, it's not that I dislike it, it's yeah, just no, that it's not I, as I get your point. You know what, because thing. we're going to... Like, we're about taste, and I think I take too much of the mustiness as a criteria in rating the taste. Okay, yeah. I'm like, uh, sure, let's go for three then. Let's go for three. Christmasness, I think it's, it's balanced. I want like, to give it a two, but because of the label and because of how the bottle looked, I would say a three. Yeah, and also it's only available yeah, exactly. like, on Christmas. They don't make a post Yeah. No. So I would go on a three of Christmasness. I'd say three. Uh, uh, yeah, fine. Yeah, you yeah. agree with that? And, uh, like the, the thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm lowering myself more than I actually think, but I'm trying to kind of... Like, yeah, I'm we need to balance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mustiness for me is where it's... Hey, it's a five, yeah. gosh darn it. F for me, it's, it's very clearly a five on mustiness. I'm a, I'm a strong four. A very strong four. Tasting the flavor profiles of the other ones mm. and their aftertastes... I can't say that it was more musty than some of the other ones. Do we, what do we have on four? On mustiness on four, we have One. only um, Nucle Brigadier. Yeah. And for me, it is above Nucle Brigadier yeah. and mustiness. If you remember, like this lasts much longer. It does last much longer, but it's not as strong to start with. It's more of a lingering flavor, but it doesn't start as strong, mm. right? Whereas that. that one was stronger and kind of petered out evenly. Yeah. This yeah. one is a lower mustiness, and it goes for much but longer. But isn't that See, what mustiness is all about? Also, Siri though? points out that apparently Sorna, at least at some point, has made post-must. But it's not available in Stockholm, so who cares? Actually, it's probably available in Stockholm, too. Yeah. Shut up, Siri. Don't ruin mm -hmm. this. We're trying to be professional. <laughs> and so, now, uh, now, now that, again, that's my personal... I can agree with Sean here. It, I would give it a four on mustiness, just because it doesn't pop for me. I don't 
feel that. Oh no, she's posting mess. links in Twitch chat. All right, all right. Fine, so, there's, so, so there's they, they make it um, Regardless, I think this is very, uh, this is very musty to me. Yeah. Mm. I'm sticking with four. I'm five. I'm five as okay. well. Well, okay. We're gonna win, on, especially since I, I went at three on the taste. I kind of yeah. want to have my five in mustiness to compensate because I think fair. the balance there, like, mm -hmm. must, it's, a, it's a four in average. Yeah. Is sure. what I'm comfortable with. A 3.5 in average. Soy nerds? I mean, uh, in average between taste and mustiness. I'm Glass feel. It's three. not his strongest point. Three. It's solid, but it's not exceptional. It's a three. Which, uh, well, put it quite high. Uh, yeah, in a, it in, did. Yeah, but, but behind uh, Nuke Brigadier still. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm yeah. not surprised. Yeah. It is partly an acquired taste. No, I would, I would gladly buy it. I would, uh, that's, that, that's that conversation, right? It's like, we don't have the bottle. But it's such a big bottle that by the time I get finished with it, I think I would just be over it. Yeah. Right? It's not that it wasn't good. It's that, like, uh, for the portion there size is, like, I, I, here's And I, I kind of agree, because I do have a bowl of soy nuts at home. But because it's so big, I've never been like, oh, I want to open this because I, you know, I kind of have to finish it. And I'm like, do I want to drink half a liter of, of soy nuts right now? Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, it's, 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 it's also because I like punishing myself and being hmm. like, no, I'm only allowed to have three popcorns tonight. I, uh, only three popcorns. Only three. Yeah, okay. I, I've been consuming soy nuts this year regularly. And I like the, I actually like the 50, the uh -huh. 50 centiliters bottle. Because it's the right side for either you're alone, you're gaming, and it's going to be your drink for the evening, yeah. and you go deep on your zoiners, and it's a good quantity, because I wouldn't go mm -hmm. at 75. Right. And then if you're having uh, Yulmus with someone, it's then perfectly Perfect. two yeah. glasses. Yeah. 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 And yeah. that is very nice. Yeah. Because otherwise, the 33 centimeters, like, mm -hmm. you yeah. have to open two and so on. So big fan of the yeah. bottle. And speaking yeah. of opening two, we have two bottles. Yes. Why? So uh, we, because they come from the same uh, microbrewery, and uh -huh. we must uh, hear uh, thank our friends and former colleague uh, Siri. Oh yes, this uh, is sponsored by Siri. Yeah, this is sponsored by uh, Siri Anderson it's from uh, Roslagens Brugerus, mm -hmm. um, and we have two. Uh, they're um, Elkegrad Bourbon, yeah. uh, which is uh, same as the Nugora, like uh, aged in bourbon. Um, Oak Oak barrels, barrels, and then we have something we've been very excited yeah. about, yeah, which is uh, the Yulmus Lacris, which yeah. is uh, what licorice. Is licorice. licorice. Uh, so we don't know if it's sweet or salty licorice, uh, and it sounds like it's a horrible uh, combination. Oh, it sounds terrible. I'm ready. But at the same time, I mean, it's licorice, so it, it's probably great. Yeah, but let's, I'm let's, let's start with the bourbon, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm I want to see if uh, these guys have a better handle on the on the bourbon uh, part definitely. than Nigorda. Pour cam. So, pour cam, pouring time. Very nice, uh, Glassman. This smell this. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Like, I mean, I haven't tasted it yet, but the smell of this is no, but it's just so much better than Yugorda's. Yeah, th th that's what I expect from an aged Yulmus. Yeah. Like, it has a lot of complexity in the uh, bouquet. That is very complex. I do appreciate that. Ooh, I am on board for this. Yeah, much better than the other bourbon, that's for sure. Yeah, but do, like, here's the Holy thing. Holy shit. Yeah. But is there, yeah. like, I really like this, but does the label of bourbon oak barrels actually tell this drink's story? Like, because I'm not necessarily, like, on board I mean, with the bourbon. Oh, or... it's there. I, 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 okay. I have it. So, a little bit in your mouth, just a little bit. Swish it around. Let it sit for a second. Now swallow. Now out through your nose while closing your mouth. Taste it. Okay, yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 This is, so, mm. Mm -hmm. we're taking time and it's sort of, uh, the silence tells you a lot. It is very good universe. I, this is going to make sense for everybody that's from 
not here, but it has a lot of notes of sarsaparilla and root beer. And I really, really yeah, appreciate Yeah, it has a bit the root beer, uh, ginger yeah. beer kind of. I, I am Very Christmassy that. on the spices. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. This, here's the thing mm. as well. Oh, this lovely. is fun to drink all the way through. Yeah. Because a lot of them are like, oh, you That's have exactly what I've been you, saying. You have the same fla flavor profile all along, and this is also true here. But like, mm. it's it's a fun drink. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Is like a lot of the the, the down votes for scores is it's just mm. yeah, you drink some and you're done. This one is like mm. you drink and you keep drinking, and it's like that's lovely. Yeah, and like, you drink it again, I'm, like I'm, that's still lovely. I, I will point out because Twitch chat is talking about it as well. It's like. If they do this well with oak, uh, bourbon oak barrels, maybe they can do something with licorice. I, I, I don't know, but it's um, it's really nice. It has this quality of, I would say, good drinks that yeah. every uh, sip yeah. sort of develops new flavors yeah, exactly. and so on, which is very nice. Like you Diverse get used to it. Yeah. flavor palette profile. So taste. Four. Four. It's a four or five to me, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm, I might give it a five. Like, uh, mm. That's tough. I like four. Because it's not going to rank that high in mustiness for me. No. no, that's true. But on the taste, in terms of the complexity of the taste. I really the liked the profile. I, it was clean. It was bold. I could keep drinking. You know what? Maybe we should. Maybe this is where we go five then. Yeah. Maybe because this is where we go five. For me. I'm still getting juniper like, peppers. Uh, mm. Adding to Troy's point, for me, it is really the balance between the spices, the bourbon aging, yeah. like the traditional Yulmus flavor. All of that works very well together. Yeah. yeah. All right, five. And Siri thought we wouldn't like that, apparently. Wait, <sighs> wait, Siri, did you give, did you give us Yulmus she under the us. Uh, with the idea that we wouldn't like the Yulmus? She's no. trying to trap us. And tra Cri Christmasness. Um, mm, three. No. Two. 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 Yeah, it's not particularly Christmassy. It, it feels like a winter drink. Yeah, I would, uh, I would yeah. give you that. That's why I said three at first, and I stopped and considered. I was like, "This is a very yeah. wintry drink." And I was like, "That's not the criteria." Though. Yeah, uh, mustiness. Uh, it's probably a two. I mean, it's there. Maybe a three. Ooh, then. I'd Ooh, say a three. the juniper burps are back. Yeah, mm. I'd say three, just because it does. It does have that that long taper off. Length. That is yeah. true. That is true. So three in mustiness. Glass fion was okay. Okay, three? With, yeah, three, three, nothing. Yeah, yeah I wasn't impressed. <laughs> but uh, damn, great, uh, great discovery yeah, from uh, Rosagen Brecher. <laughs> yeah. So let's go to like it is one of the main events tonight. We've mm -hmm. been very excited about this one. Uh, let's go with Roslagen Brecher's Yulmus Lacrets. I am working a lot of my Swedish pronunciation. Tonight. Yeah, I mean you, you're doing Seven. okay. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Look at Look that. At that. Oh, beautiful. All right, pour time. Pouring time. Yeah, apparently uh, Siri, was, Siri was trying the bourbon oak uh, last night, and right. she did not like it. Let's get, let's get the sound on the pour on this one. Full. Yeah. I like how full that is. I'm, 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 I'm not sure it's coming through properly, because we have a lot of fans and other things in the studio, but hopefully it does. It, especially when I'm talking over especially it. Especially when you're talking over it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very nice uh, glass phenol. I mean, or correct rather. But it is. Uh, oh, I can special. smell it already. I cannot. You oh. can't? Oh, I can. I, mean, I can. Mm. I think it's good. Oh, there it is. It's weird. It's like, um, it's not quite an aftertaste. But it hits you really subtly on the back of the tongue. Oh, it's. Oh, so it's. Anise. It's yeah, not licorice. Yeah, it's anise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not licorice. It's just anise. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It has afterwards. A, very interesting. It has an aftertaste on the tip of the tongue. Yeah. Which is quite rare. Yeah. You know, it's used like usually the aftertaste is more like what you get on the palate on the back of your tongue. It also has a unique mouthfeel. It's like a like a like mm. a slick. Not like like bad oily, but it's like a, like a oh. velvety velvety coating. I mean, in the I don't. Feel. Here's the, the the thing that's like you drink it and you're like you're trying to figure out what the thing that that you're tasting is, and it's kind of hard if you didn't know that Ooh. it was. I'm getting the licorice after a couple swish, of uh, yeah, tastes. Swish and yeah. swish and like activate well, it. And the it really pulls out the liquor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Currently, it's to me without having done that. It tastes, and you're not gonna get mm. this. Uh, 
but it's well now it's, I'm indignant. Well, it's like when you know when you have like uh, salmiaki, and the aftertaste of that. That's no, I, yeah, I get it. I do get it. You no, forget, but, I went on you, a tour last year with Jesse to <laughs> try everything I could. But but uh, you get uh, you get the licorice after a couple of sips, like and it sort of sticks. Then yeah, yeah. The more you activate it, I like it. Yeah. I think the flavor. I, I would say like for uh, for us lagens brickhus, like. The, the quality of the balance of the yeah. taste is very great. I mean, it's humorous. yeah, it's it. Here's the thing: like, it's balanced. Do I like it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's it's a well-made drink, it's, but is it? It's, it's not as I would say it's not as good in taste hmm. as uh, the other one. No, I would definitely go like in terms of originality and using the licorice like in a good I way. I, I don't know if I could drink. Yeah, here's a the, bottle of this. No, here's the problem with this. Like, I don't know when I'm supposed to drink it because I can only drink it in the context of me sitting around with some friends, us drinking something non-alcoholic. Because I wouldn't drink this no. while eating something. No. And I wouldn't necessarily drink it as, like, as an option if I'm... You know, you know what this is? This is a drink for pregnant women. That's a bold, that's an interest, uh, interesting and in, in the con in the mm. here in the context of go out to a bar with right. friends, yeah. bring a pregnant mm. woman. This is what she drinks. I, I see what yeah. you mean. Okay, I can see Still, that. probably not the it's not what the strongest <clears throat> statement to make for three dudes who are obviously not. Now let me let me man this, spread a bit more. Jeez. Like, yeah, yeah. Drink for women, <laughs> women that fuck <laughs> or have I, been. <laughs> I uh, I didn't know the, your Jeez. Twitch channel was that uh, high in the PG rating. No, this is uh, my my Twitch channel is not rated M for mature. This is an uh, this is a family friendly stream. <laughs> Damn. Um, I don't I, I don't know what to think about this. No, I don't. It's, I don't like it. No, so let, I don't. Let's try to it. focus on the criteria. Yeah. I think taste wise, uh, it is uh, pretty nice. Like they've done a really good job with what it is. But yeah. I don't like it. Right. It's like, I like it. I do like it. <clears throat> how to put this? It's like a really, really, really well-made roadside kebab, right? Like you go to a roadside kebab stand and you're not expecting gourmet dishes. But you, you're like, this is really well-made mm. for like a cheap roadside kebab. And you eat it and you're like, that was really well made for a cheap roadside kebab. But at the end of the day, it's still a cheap roadside kebab. I don't really agree. I think I think it's quite refined. I, it's no, it's, no, no, it's just saying, like it I'm goes a bit far away from the Ulmus, right? I, I'm not saying it's unrefined. I'm just saying like you go into it thinking one thing and you're expecting one thing. Here's, and it turns I, out I really think well I, in a different I'm at, like, mm. I'm at a point where it's, it's probably one of those taste versus must again. Right. Because the taste is probably like a three. But the, must is, the mustiness is very low to me. We're um, also being called out, sir. I know. I've, I've been ignoring it. But that's because uh, Siri has <laughs> a lot more experience uh, when it comes to pregnant women than I do. I'm pointing out that they should limit their intake of licorice. Would you say, would she, mm. would you say she really knows the floor <laughs> layout there? Yeah, mm. I would say <laughs> that. I would say that. <laughs> okay. So, taste. I would, like, I, it's very interesting. I would go three. out of four. I'd Ooh. say three. Yeah, I'm three, unfortunately. Oh, I, here's the thing. I want to love this, and I'm kind of bummed out that I don't. Right, the same. Yeah. yeah. Man, Christmasiness, though, maybe a one. I would... I didn't feel... No, there is no, yeah. no Christmasness. No. I agree. Mustiness is four. Yeah, I'll give it a four. 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 I can still feel and taste it. Yeah, but that's the... Aniseed, isn't it? Like yeah. that's all I have. That's not mustiness. I can still taste the 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 fruit flavors behind it. I think they're bonding to the anise flavor. I would go at a three on mustiness. I think it still has like. Fine, I'll give you a three. Three. The, the licorice like three. sort of reinforced. Like it's yeah. not exactly yeah. the same yeah. mustiness. Sure. No, yeah. Exactly. Um, exactly. It's yeah. And it's not like. Last year was quite good actually. Three, four, three, uh, three, two, three, three. Okay. Um, so we end up uh, pretty low for this one. I would say though, if you have the opportunity, try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you should, you should definitely, you should definitely it, try. It, you it, should, both of those are solid buys. Yeah, the first yeah, one yeah. definitely. So I, I think it's a case of if you're bringing just one Yulmust home for the holiday and you're having one Yulmust. Yeah, don't go with that. No, it's it's at all out Christmas. Don't go with that. But if you're if you're buying a bunch of them, definitely go with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're like a sampler pack. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can see that. Very well. Let's go with uh, another uh, brewery. I actually but got can those. We get, can uh, we get like a three bottle lineup there for the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get it. Ooh. So this is uh, from uh, another microbrewery from uh, Hamars Brigade. We're finally back to the uh, to some Christmassy uh, yeah, yeah. branding. V yeah. Very Christmassy. Where are they located? I don't know. Does it specify? Doesn't really. Gentlemen, we have cell phones. We could look. No. But no. Okay. Uh, very nice label. I got those uh, buying some uh, mixers at uh, the a shop that does like specialize in uh, bar and drink uh, mm. things yeah. in Stockholm. Uh, Kasken Company. For yeah. those of you in uh, Stockholm. Oh, I thought you. I thought you'd gone to like Soda Nation. No, no, I'm not an animal. Um, and yeah, so we have three of them. Uh, they're uh, Base Yulmust uh, that we're going to start with. They then have a Cardemuma uh, flavored Yulmust, which I am very right. excited yeah. about. Yeah, right, Car Car Cardamom. Mm -mm -mm. And we have an Apple Sin, mm. uh, so orange yeah. uh, flavored uh, Yulmust as well. Uh, yeah, cardamom, uh, as you all know, is the spice that is used in very small proportion in Indian cuisine and in massive fucking proportion in Swedish baking. Yes. yes. For some absurd reason, when you arrive it's... in Sweden, you know about the cinnamon buns, and then you get introduced to the cardamom buns, and you're like, this can't possibly be a good idea. Exactly, because it's a great freaking idea. Yeah. Absolutely. The, the like the the first thing you learn as when you're like baking cinnamon uh, rolls or cinnamon buns at home, the first thing you learn to try, try and elevate your your own buns is that you always double the amount of cardamom that you need to put in the dough, because yeah. otherwise there's no enough cardamom. No, no, no you, you can mean. always have more cardamom. Oh. Uh, so a APB uh, Harlequin also says, I'm super interested in trying this beverage, but I can't find anyone selling Yulmus outside of Ica. I think <coughs> it, in certain regions of the world, I think the, your best bet is actually Ica. Yeah, which is a bit <coughs> sad. Uh, I think, yeah, otherwise you have to find a way to import it from Sweden, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, find a free Swedish friends. I mean, invite <coughs> them over for next Christmas. Hey, I bring some Yulmust. Yeah, I think the, the problem there is... Uh, actually, I'm going to let you pour. Yeah, let, 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 let's have a good pour on this one. Oof. Oh, there we go. That is uh, some nice bubbles. Yeah, no, I, <coughs> I was going to say, I think the, the problem with importing Yulma specifically is that it shows up, if you're lucky, in Sweden in, like, October, and then you have to buy it and import yeah. it, and you'll get it in, like, December, and then you don't necessarily have that much time to sell it. What you could do is start importing Poskmust <laughs> instead. There you go. No, but, but, but I think, like, f for people abroad who want to get a taste at what Yulma actually tastes like, the one from IKEA is, it's going to be, like, Sort of close to apothecaries, like very basic, but it's gonna give you what Yulmus tastes like at the this very least. This is very much what I expect mm. Yulmus to smell like. It's Ooh. very much exactly what I expect it to taste like, too. A lot oh. of spices. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Like, like just on a, like on a base level, here's the standard Yulmus with no like extra top notes. Yeah. This is a very good standard Yulmus. It's uh, it, it's it feels like Scheunerts, but without the very strong coffee yeah. Uh, yeah. flavor yeah. and without the aggressive mustiness. Yeah. But I think testing a lot, I realize that the mustiness in Scheunerts comes from this sort of roasted coffee yeah. taste that sort of yeah. reinforces mm -hmm. it, right? Yeah, like without <clears throat> without that type of base note, it, some of the must is kind of fleeting. This is. Mm. Not bad. No. Very clean. Very, yeah. very bright. Very clean, very bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay. <coughs> I like I'd, it. Good I'd have to taste. Yeah, a bit I'd, of caramel yeah. in this yeah. one. I'd happily put that at a four. Four. Yeah, it's a four in taste. Like, easily for me. It, four, it's yeah. not, like, groundbreaking. No. He, like, the way the one from <coughs> Roslagen was. Yeah. Uh, but, but it's, like, very solid, super good spices, lots yeah. of caramel and... Very sugary as yeah. well, yeah. which put it high in the Christmasness for me. I'd say yeah. four. Christmas yeah. four for me. Yeah, especially with that the packaging branding, as well. Yeah, the flavors, yeah. The, the, yeah. the bouquet of different spices in it. Yeah. Four. M mustiness. Four. You would go to four? 
Yeah. Like, three for me on mustiness, just because it does kind of taper really fast. Yeah, but I think that's because it's missing, it's missing uh, some extra notes, which also makes it cleaner. Yeah, it's clearly a mustard. We'd go at the four, yeah. Glass Fion was quite good. Quite good. Yeah. Probably a four as well. Are yep. we on an old four? Oh my I God. Think I think we are. Think we yeah. So, uh, so, 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 taking the lead, Harmarsh, Yulmust Original. Strong. Yeah. Very strong contender. Also, you got to give it good label. Yeah. yeah. It's Very a very good label. label. Yeah. All right. Should we go Appelsin? I think Appelsin yeah. is going to be less yeah. like um, mm -hmm. than uh, Cardemumba. But I, I will, I like, I have never seen this before. No, me neither. Yeah, no. They, they, I, I found them like, yeah, like a bit randomly, and I was like, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy because I also bought enough to have some for myself as well, uh, and I feel very good because I have bought all of yeah. this uh, current uh, one for me at home. So we have the Apple Scene version. Let's uh, pour it. Maybe a bit faster. Let's uh, leave the glass sphere for the audience. Not as uh, strong as the previous one. Yeah, but I like the color difference. The other one was much darker. This one has like a much. Yeah, yeah, no, that is true. Clearer, like more orangey caramel flavored. So I'm, I'm expecting when I smell this <coughs> that there's a clear orange, like no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy, yeah. that is not the note I expected, though. No, but that's, that's yeah, all right, let's see. Mm. This is, a, this is a, more of a citrusy or orangey note than mm. I expected. I'm excited. No, that's good. That's not as good as the other one. I think the orange kind of works against it. Oh, but the, the aftertaste is... I don't... What the heck is... So you know what I'm saying? The aftertaste is... Yeah, yeah. I'm not... I don't like... I No. I think the orange worked against it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's sad. It loses a lot from the orange. I mean, it's mm. not bad, like, by any... But, like, the, the orange That's sort of temper all intriguing. the quality of the original. That's intriguing. Mm -hmm. It really brings out the citrus. Yeah. That's interesting. I just don't mm. think I want citrus in my mousse. <clears throat> yeah. It also tempers the mustiness quite yeah. a lot. Well, I think it's a two in taste for me. Yeah, I'll say two in taste. But I'm going to give it higher points for Christmas because, like, mulled cider with orange peels definitely does bring me back to childhood. I think the smell is more Christmassy than yeah. the taste is. Well, and that's that's why I'm I'm saying a four on Christmassy just because, yeah. like, this brings me back to childhood. Like, mulled cider with orange peels and cinnamon yeah. is, like, like, I, I drank it and yeah. I was like, oh, my God, that tastes like... The aftertaste no. is like Christmas for me. It's weird. No, I would say Christmas is strong. Yeah, Christmas yeah. is highest, but four. like with the branding is still really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I would go at four as well. Mustiness, it gets destroyed two. by two. the episode. It's a two, a two as well. Yeah. Well, and that's... There, there is a bit of it, but it's... Ugh. That's what we were talking about earlier. It's like, like with the rum, there's a really good mustiness, like a really strong mm. mustiness, and it lasts a really long time, but I'm not sure if I want it to. Yeah, right? yeah. It's still there, and it's like, it's still... Uh, you can still taste it, but it's like, do I want to? Mm. Do I want to keep tasting this mustiness? Mm. Um, Glass PR was three. three. It yeah. was not as good not as the previous no. one. No. Three. But, uh, yeah. All right. Exciting. Uh, going mm. to uh, the Cardamomba. Yeah. Uh, this which, one. Oh. I mean, here, here's my worry. Uh, or because of the previous ones where we tried the uh, bourbon oak first, we were like, holy shit, this is really well mixed. The licorice is probably good as well. Now we've had. Now we know that the base is really good, but the mix on the orange one not necessarily as yeah. good. So I'm, I'm slightly cautious for I this. Think one. The, the risk is that it's the cardamomba is overpouring it. Uh, I right. think the question is, is cardamomba a good thing to mix with yeah. most? All right, let's see the pour this time. We'll find out. Let's get a pour. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's better a, than the better than the apple scene. Yeah, better than the apple scene. Uh, Not on, quite as good as the Holy! 
Ooh, all right. Like you don't even have to put your nose into the into the glass here. Like you get you get the cardamom from here. Mm. <clears throat> that is an interesting flavor. What the? Yeah, it it tastes like heavily processed vanilla more than cardamom to me. I don't know if that's because of how it's mixed. Mm. Yeah, <clears throat> swishing it makes it taste almost like like overprocessed vanilla. I like it. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. I. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Like. If you do swish it, and then yeah. the aftertaste then is very much uh, like, um, what's it? Ah, oh, shit, what's it called in English? Like, we'd in Swedish, we'd call it vanillin, which is like fake vanilla. Yeah. yeah. Vanilla, like fake overprocessed vanilla. Yeah, like yeah. it's not made from actual not vanilla. Not vanilla bean, no. mm. but like yeah. chemical vanilla. Yeah. Mm. I think it's, it's better than the Apple Sin. It's not as good as the original. No. No, I think like it, a and bit it's disappointed in the cardamom that yeah. is not that present. Like it's it's kind of sad that I feel like both of the both the orange and the cardamom one fragrance wise great. Yeah. yeah. The but aftertaste taste, taste wise they've just ruined the really good Yulmus. The aftertaste on yeah. this one is much better than the apple though. Yeah. Yeah, it's um I'm a bit disappointed because I'm like after 2 years living in Sweden if it, there is something I know is that sweet don't hesitate to go strong on the cardamom. Yeah. But this could use and, more. And, and this could use more. Like, yeah. come on, that's your thing. You should yeah. know. Yeah, no, you I'm. Uh, yeah. Uh, so it's a three for me in taste. I think uh, it's clearly in between the four of the original yep. and. Uh, yeah. Uh, Christmasness. Uh, three. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's lower than the orange one. Yeah, it's lower than the orange one. It's actually a three for me. Like I'd the sort three. of vanilla and spices, like uh, they they work uh, mm -hmm. for me, but it's not. Yeah, not exceptional. Yeah, no, nope. yeah. Uh, mustiness, three. Maybe it's three. It's better, yeah, it it's better than the the Appleson, but that not is true. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Glass fear was at Still the three. same level, I think. Yeah. yeah, it's a three all around. We have, one, we have our four, we have our three. Yeah. An average plus must. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but uh, kind of a bit of a personal disappointment. Yes, no, definitely. I was, like, Star I was going to say started strong and then... <laughs> yeah, if we compare to the Lacrisse, for me, yeah. like even if it ended up rating a bit lower because yeah. like you didn't yeah. like it and it was very weak on uh, Christmasness, mm -hmm. I think the mixing of flavor was more yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I want to get back to that because of the Chris, like, it, it tried something. Yeah. It's specific. Yeah. You like it, you don't. But it did it quite well. Yeah. There, it's a bit more like we dumped a bit of that. Yeah. I would say if we compare brewery to brewery, Roslagans, clearly very good at the mixing and finding balance. Amherst should probably stick to making their original. Yeah. That is still. The strongest move so far. Yeah, yeah. and it's good. Uh, I just want to shout out to Crunchy Moogle, who says, just here to, uh, to tell you that me, my younger brother, and my sister used to watch your stream. Now the whole family separated. You've ruined Christmas. That's, uh, I don't think that's the intention, but that's how I'm going to take it. <laughs> just like Sean may or may not be dead. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we're you... on our two final moves. Yes. Um, oh, oh, we're all... like, part well, of no. me is. No. Oh no, we it is actually oh, it. we have two of this one. So oh. we're only gonna open one. Yes. Yeah, so it is uh look our second to last must, uh which is uh Salens Brigehus uh Yulmust, uh, that is subtitled Dalamust. Yeah. Which what does that mean? It, it mean I, it means it's from Dalarna, which oh, is okay. uh region in Sweden. W where is Dalarna? It's so if you if you wanna if you really wanna annoy someone from Dalarna you say that Dalarna is the southern part of Norrland. Uh. But officially it's it's not. It's, it's actually uh, it's part of uh, Sörmland which is like the middle region. It's just that Dalarna is actually further north than the southern parts of Norrland. Mm. Which if <clears throat> if you if you haven't been to Sweden or don't work in Sweden this is going to be nothing yeah. to you. So so translation for the non Swede it's like middle north. Yeah. Well, it, I, I think it's actually mid, middle south, really, because not uh, because Sweden is really tall. Yeah. But yeah, 
there, there, there is an ongoing argument defining where is the limit between northern and southern Sweden. And depending on who you listen to, that limit moves on 2,000 kilometers, I would say, almost. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Ofi officially, it's, it's Dalälven. If if you live if you live south of Dalälven, you're in southern no. part of Sweden. The officially part being contested by at least three different groups, right? <coughs> so let's uh, try this uh, Dalamus. Yeah. This is now one of the five that I've had. Oh, you tried this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one. This one I only find uh, like the 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 only place I found this is the local Ica supermarket uh, by the office. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, yeah. This is mine. Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, I've seen it in a couple of uh, supermarkets, so it's decently accessible at least. Hmm. This actually, this is actually a true story. This is the actually the first Yulmus that I tried oh, last yeah. year. Hmm. Lovely. Just fine. I wouldn't be able to tell this in Apothecanus apart. Mm. I can just, I think it's the plastic versus glass for me, but. Like, it's not bad. It just doesn't have anything. Yeah, it falls flat pretty fast. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's fine. fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's a fine must. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's probably like, it looks better than Apothecanus, and you can yeah. start an argument at the Christmas table breaking that instead of Apothecanus, I would say. That's what. Um, Taste to three, yeah, three. It's all nice. Uh, Christmasness four. Is it? that label? That yeah, label. very nice label. And the spices just really sell it as a Christmas beverage for me. That's uh, my. I'm on a four. I'll I'll let you have a four. Yeah, I would say mustiness though. Two, mm -hmm. not high. Two. All right, the two. And the glass fion was. That's all right. So yeah, it's three, two, three. Yeah, like I'm. I'm I like, it's like I feel like I like it's it's fine. I just find I'm very disinvested in it. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's so it's so middle of the road that I have really mm. no opinion about it. It's it's just it is. Yeah. 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 So sorry, it's three. Like is it, I would say definitely if you're buying some Yulmus quickly at the supermarket and it's available, I would yeah. pick that over a particular. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good choice. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't get crazy about it. I wouldn't fight for this move. No, I'm pretty sure. It, I'm move. pretty sure it's quite inexpensive though, so that's mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can get it for like. Uh, um, I got mine for I need your final must yeah. that hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, so uh, we. Which is the last one? So the last one is a uh, Uppsala Brighus. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, that was. Uh, that was uh, there's some movement in. Uh, which I think was also sponsored by Siri. Siri, did you sponsor this? Thank you. Can uh, take those. Appreciate it. Uh, keep, Siri keep confirms that she, yeah, that she did yes. sponsor this. So this one, I must say, uh, oh God, I, I don't think label. you have any beautiful label. Mm -hmm. Very. Oh, that label. oh, you need to be on the. Yeah, no, but I'm showing it to you yeah, because uh, I know. So very, very nice uh, label. A bit like design. Po Postmodern modern. Christmas. No, to get some, well, uh, I think I think you just need to move it further back to yeah. have it catch the. Yeah, postmodern Christmas. There we yeah, go. Yeah, very yeah. nice uh, sort of modern design, very hipstery, I must say. Yes. Uh, Which is why it's sponsored by Siri. Yeah. Admittedly, the most hipstery person we know. So this comes from uh, Uppsala, which is the uh, third largest city in Sweden. Uh, fourth? fourth, depending on yeah. how you count. But yeah, yeah but you located got like one like. A bit less than an hour north Yeah, like Stockholm. it's 50 minutes with a train. One of the oldest universities in the world. Yeah. And if, if, you've, uh, if you've ever been there as a student drunk, you, you're, you'll be shocked to find out that all of the places close at one. And you're like, what the fuck? Why do I have to be a student to be there drunk? Uh, because it's Uppsala and only students it's a, go it's out. A, it's, a, uh, it's a biggest it's like university in Sweden. I think. Are you yeah, saying that I was wrong when I was drunk in Uppsala? Uh, <laughs> what... What date was this? Uh, November-ish. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but not right. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. If it is the 1st of May, or rather the night before, yeah. very appropriate. But you have to get there at like 10. Done. Yeah. In the morning. So uh, let's Done. see what uh, Uppsala has <coughs> when it comes yep. to Yermust. Poor time, poor cam.
Hmm. Decent. Nothing to get uh, rowdy about, but... Nope. Uh, Falling pretty fast, though. Falling pretty fast, yeah, unfortunately. Sorry. Oh, I really have to pee. <laughs> Should have thought of that before you. Yeah, I know, I know. And I, I thought about it, and then I just ignored it. Logan and I, Logan and I came to a mutual oh. agreement. We were like, "Oh God, we have to, we have to." What oh. the? Wait, what? <laughs> no. What? What the heck is that? This smells like instant ramen. It does, and I don't know what the hell's going on. Why? Why does it do this? What's going on? <laughs> That's surprising. I don't know if I want to drink this is it now. A, this is a... I'm kind of afraid. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. The, no, there's... There is some ginger mm. in here. No. Like, really, if you get past the instant ramen... Hmm. I don't know. I'm really undecided on this one. What the... Like, here's the thing. If someone... If if I went uh, to a party or just to like a, a restaurant for like a Christmas something, and I asked for Yulmus and Yulmus and they poured this, I would be disappointed. I'd be like, "What the heck did you do with this yeah. thing?" Because it's not. Is there, is there a Best Buy date on that thing? Maybe it's expired. I don't know. No, 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 no. But I think. But it's so weird because it does, like it it. <sighs> I think it's, it, it feels like it, it matched with the hipstery label, right? I yeah. feel well, they tried so hard to make something out of this that it falls pretty far away from that. I, I mean, I, I think I it, don't, this, one, this one's my least favorite so far. Yeah, like, I, it, it's, it's very much that the fragrance is, like, all wrong. Like, mm. there's, no, there's no good fragrance here. No, this is my least favorite so far. Hey, it's not great. Is that? Yeah. No, no, throw this in the bin. No, it's not. I'm not happy with this. Wait. Like, every time I drink it, though, there's, like, a, a different... A little no different note in it, yeah. Yeah, and, like, the notes themselves aren't aren't necessarily bad. It's just that the... Everything around it is meh. Well, it's... it's yeah, it's like it's like having five of the world's best musicians playing a different piece of music at the exact same time. It's like, by themselves, these are all great, but I, I can't wonder if over it. I wonder if this is someone trying to make a Yulmust... Without mm. buying the actual flavoring mm. from from the people that make the Yulmus flavoring. Maybe. Maybe. I think generally I feel like they try too hard. Yeah, it, yeah, like it tastes to me, it tastes like someone trying to be like, hey, I made my own Coca-Cola recipe yeah. and then kind of miss, messed up a bunch of the... I'm giving it a one. Yeah, yeah like it's at oh. best a one. Uh, like it's... I keep drinking drinking it because it's fun, but no, no I'm, like I'm it's not. About it. Christmas Ness? Two. No. The label gives it a two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. cool label, but. Oh no, the, ooh, ooh, it, it doesn't right? get better. It doesn't get better. Mustiness is a one, one. as well. And glass feel was a two. two, maybe. I'll say two. Ooh, I would just add a note. <sighs> it's yeah. a bad must. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. Not a must have. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Not a must have at all. <laughs> we have it. So, okay, so yeah, let's let's could, hear. I will ask uh, if uh, Madder can bring us back what's left of Hamar's Yulmust original, mm -hmm. because this is according well, to the average rating. Let's let's get the the top. So let's get the the 2019. I mean, let's just let's just first two. can we can we go through? Let's which are the bottom ones in total score? So in total score, like we have Uppsala, Brigus, yeah, Yulmust, clearly. Uh, very disappointing. Nugorda, Romfat, and Cognac that yeah. fell a bit off. Apotecaris Yulmust, once again, not saying it's bad, just benchmark. It's a basic yeah. benchmark. It doesn't go very high. It is what it is. Then uh, Roslagen La Chris that failed a couple of criteria. Mm -hmm. Still right. interesting. Still interesting. Yep. If you have the opportunity, still good to try. Yep. Uh, La Grad <coughs> Elk at the same level, which yep. was, well, mm. you know. Uh, Apotheconus uh, Brigamust. Oh, yeah, the mix with yeah. Uh, Earl. Yeah. That was uh, original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, but worth trying. Yeah. Yeah. Amars Appelsin, I would say, one. if you go for Amars, obviously yeah. that's not the one. Like, I wouldn't advise trying it. It's decent. It's better than lots of the other thing, but... Yeah, like, I, I think when you're looking at the the ones that are from the same same brand or mm. same label, like, go for the best one. Like, if, you, if, you, yeah. if you're buying Amars, Buy the original you most because the other ones, if you buy all of them, you're yeah. just going to be disappointed by the other ones. Nugorda, uh, original, 
was okay. It was okay. Uh, yeah. I, I think like as my like professional universe enthusiast mm -hmm. opinion as far as it goes. It was alright. Above a particular yeah. in that yeah. uh, ancestral fight, I would like put it above. But especially because it was a glass bottle version. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Salins Brugus, Yulmus Dalamus, Dalmus once again, was, fine. was very yeah. basic and fine. Um, yeah, nothing particularly to report about it. The Amor's Mumua was, mm. yeah, a bit trying too hard as well, all right? There yeah. is a lot of trying too hard, I feel, yeah. in those yeah. microbrewery. Um, Roslagen Brugus, uh, Elkrad... The Bourbon. El Elkrad Bourbon. Yeah. This one, pretty good. Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Pretty damn good. Like, mmm. Yeah. Like, yeah I, I, I liked it. It, the it failed a bit in Christmassness. Yeah. Uh, that's why it failed. But it. a very nice must. Yeah. Also, bourbon and uh, Yulmust is a good mix, I think, because we have just at the same level, we're consistent, the Nugarda uh, Lagrade Bourbon Fat. Mm. And uh, this one was nice. Like, yeah. of all the you know, yeah. Nugarda, I need to check our result from last year. Yeah. I think last year we had the port one, and the port one was exceptionally high on Christmasness. Yeah, yeah. It I was remember, very I, I think Christmas. Yeah. I can see port being on the high Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a bit disappointing. We don't have it. Maybe we'll try to to get one and uh, add it to the list. Would it, would it be criminal to mix all the Yulmus together and make a super Yulmus? Yes. yes. Oh my Absolutely. god. Absolutely. Jungle Yulmus. No, oh, no, that no, would no, be no, the worst. No, no. Then, we, so we're starting with a uh, strong one. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Different Scrook. Uh, you almost met mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. interesting. Very nice. Very adult yeah. Uh, yeah. as a drink. Um, I am then very disappointed we don't have different crudes, uh, the base one. Yeah. Because I think it's probably pretty high if their uh, flavored one is mm -hmm. saying anything. Yeah. Even if we've seen that being good at base you almost doesn't mean you're good at flavoring. No. Right. But it's that, one of the big learning today. That one, that one failed because there was just no mustiness mm. on it. It just like... <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, no, I like. I think as a drink, it does not fail, and it's spectacular. Yeah, as a drink, but, it's. But if if we're specifically going for the metric, the best Yule must of twenty twenty, it's not the top one. Yeah. yeah, because of the lack of messiness. Yeah. yeah. However, and I want to raise that point. Number one in Christmasness, it was literally like drinking yeah. a Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. and and I will. I have. I think I have an extra one in this one as well. Yeah. And I will drink it and enjoy it by my Christmas tree. Yeah. Good must. We have then Zoinerts, uh, once again, the king of mustiness. And I must say, like, it is a very specific flavor, but yeah. Stockholm hipsters unite. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah, no. It's, yeah. At the same level, we find both Apotecanes, Vintermus 2020 and 2019. Yeah. Interesting that we've seen a bit of difference yeah. between uh, both. They end up in average at the same level. 2020, a bit more Christmassy. 2019, a bit more taste. Yep. Yeah. And uh, overall, uh, on the top two, pla two spots, uh, one at 3.75, one at four, we have uh, Nicole Bregerer uh, Yulmus from Norland, uh, which was rated right by Afton Bladet. Yeah. So we must yeah. say, like, Afton Bladet, all right, you're, yeah. you're decent at testing Yulmus. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe not as good as us, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, you tried. You tried, and... Uh, but and did you, you have f freaking 19 different ones? <laughs> yeah. Mm, Probably. Really? Pro yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but they definitely didn't have Amar's Yulmust original. Which was fantastic. Which was yeah. absolutely Lovely. fantastic. It's, yeah, I mean, w what I like about it is, I think it was a perfect must for all rating, because yeah. it scored a consistent mm -hmm. four on all criteria. Not the most tasty one, not the most Christmassy, not the more, yeah. most musty, yeah. but definitely super solid. Yeah. yeah, and I'm really glad we saved that one for last because, man, if we had that one like in our first, I'd be like, why am I here? Why did yeah, I agree yeah. to this? No, 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 no. It was like very, very nice. And yeah, I, I think I feel good yeah. about it because yeah. if we have to recommend a perfect Yule must yeah. for your Christmas week or your vacation or your Christmas table, if you want mm -hmm. to have most on the Christmas table, Perfectness. Yeah, like. I, I, and I, I think the, I think the other, I think the other takeaway for me is that if you want to go buy Yulmust in Sweden, like going to Systembolaget is a pretty solid yeah. choice. Like, yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Ah, oh, it is back. But do we? Here, here's a question. Uh, let's let's let's, let's, pour, let's pour us some. But shouldn't we like force uh, for Alex and Mother to have some because? 
they apparently dislike Yulmust. Oh, she's making a face. Surely you want some of the Hamash one. No. I mean, come on, mother. Go and, go and have the last Here, bit of the bottle. The there we go. Are they only one? There's like, we're greedy that there's only enough for one of you. No, no. We okay. Can, we can split uh, it. There is. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's literally nothing left. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean. <laughs> well, gentlemen, uh, cheers to that. Cheers. I, I want to confirm. Oh, 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 look at, look at. <laughs> Yeah, see, see, they're doing mind blown. And, and oh fuck, it's good. It's really good. No, no it's really good. The, uh, 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 Eddie gets back to me. Yeah, the, the, no, cra it's good. the caramel taste. Yeah. yeah. Like, mm. also, what I like about it, if you compare it to Zoiner's, which is very, you know, adult on the coffee, yeah. or if we see like the the one from Enver that was very yeah. adult as well. Perfect kid, you almost. Yep. Yeah. It, it, it it just like if you like apothecaries, mm -hmm. I would say. This is like apothecaries on steroids. Yeah, it's like yeah. No, it's it's just a very it's a very good classic humus. The only worry I have with it is I have like you found it in one place in Stockholm. Yeah. So the availability is order in order question. Online, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, with that said, I'd love to keep talking, but we've been going for uh, yeah, an hour and a half, two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Uh, which is a lot for a Yulmus test, and Alex is really happy about it. Uh, so I think we're actually going to have to uh, say uh, thank you and uh, goodbye for tonight. Oh, I'm in that camera. Excellent. Uh, thank you guys for suffering uh, through this. Normally, at least on my channel, I tend to not do studio pr uh, productions uh, like this, but I felt like this was you know, worth it because it's important to figure out which is the most important Yulmus yeah. of the year. Yeah. And if I can force a bunch of people into drinking Yulmus, I'm certainly going to try and do that. So, uh, Troy, uh, uh, Loic, uh, thank, thank you so much. Troy, especially for uh, jumping in at short notice yeah, and having opinions. Uh, Loic yeah. for bringing in, like I think, two-thirds of the Yulmus we tried uh, this yeah, year. Yeah, I went, I went hard yeah. on the most. I'm actually thinking, like, I kind of want to send this video to Hammer's Brewery Do it. when we put it online. Sure, we should. Uh, and also, more importantly, thanks for making the uh, Google Sheet. Yeah, it is shared with everyone. If you need a recommendation or if you're, you're looking for your most best tea, most tasteful one, refer to it. And uh, thank you for uh, being with us for so long. Yeah, like, it, it, it took a while. Now, I really need to go uh, pee. So, uh, good you, everyone. Good you.